I hope my PC is not too loud. I recently moved it. I don't know why it's still cropped. I deleted the crop. I might need to actually throw a filter on there to uh, hide the PC sounds because I wasn't expecting the PC to get that loud. That sounds like it's probably a little better, or looks like it's probably a little better. I hope it is. Anyway, hello everyone. Sounds good to me? Alright, cool. Welcome or welcome back to the stream. Uh, as always, I am Forever Mad Dog. Sorry, while I'm doing my intro, I'm also fixing this. And today, I'm finally playing some Kill It With Fire 2. Uh, the crop just didn't even work at all. There we go. There we go. I've been excitedly waiting to play this game for a while. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Not too upset that we didn't get all three of your ghost finds. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. My chair tried leaning back farther than I expected it to. But, yeah, we are back with Kill It With Fire. Doing good? That is good to hear. <coughs> um, I know very little about this game. Uh, all I know is it has single player, it has multiplayer, which I'm really excited about in the future, and it's in early access. So the sto single player story might not be finished yet, but we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I uh, I haven't played the original Kill of the Fire in a while. I'm pretty sure the last time I played it was actually when I set the, the record. How long ago was that? And am I still on top? I'm trying to certain screens so I don't get night. Oh, fit. right. He's playing content warning, right? Not kill it with fire too. Kill it with fire regular. Am I still on top? Yes, I am. And that was a year ago. <laughs> Last time I played this game was about a year ago. <laughs> well, last time I played the first game was about a year ago. But now this is the second game, so yeah, we'll see. So I guess let's just get right into it. Spider Hunt, I'm pretty sure, is the multi streamer mode. Oh, yeah, okay. That's cool. Good, I did save. I didn't even know that was a, that was a thing for most things, for most games, for games. But that's cool. Disables copyright music. There's the early access roadmap, which I'm not gonna check out because I don't want to accidentally spoil myself on anything. But let's check out the campaign. Yeah, they got co-op campaign, so that's gonna be cool. Play solo, and I guess it's just gonna throw us right into it, right? Because we haven't. Yes. That's a little bit loud. Presented by Tiny Build. Created by Casey Donella K Casey Donellan Games. Donellan. Kill it with fire. Two. Mm. Days since the last spider, 94. Wait, this is... This is the house from the, uh... From the first game. What was... Oh, this is art. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, just sticky note. Ha ha. Very funny. Wait, what? None of this is real, is it? Is, is that it? Is none of this real? Uh... Oh! I'm a little bit psychotic, aren't I? <laughs> That'd be really funny if this is the whole game. There weren't actually any spiders, they were just all sticky notes. I can't go in there. 
I'm being monitored. That's definitely more spiders now. We just need more fire. There's probably need more fire. This is the first level from the first game. Take clipboard. Kill us. Here we go again. Kill a spider. I found one. How do I crouch? Oh, the crouch is instant, huh? Did the board update say zero? I should say zero. That's not how doors work, but okay. Discover new objectives. You didn't die in a single hit. Before it was like find papers and stuff. But you'd find the tape deck, tracker, hairspray, and pistol. Fuck those pictures, right? Fuck the pictures. Fuck you. <laughs> Break windows! Oh. I can break windows real good. You can sprint starting out, so that's interesting. There we go, broke windows. What's this? Oh, the spider. Okay. Adjust the whiteboard in the bedroom. That is a strong fucking clipboard. Looking for a pistol. Maybe the pistol's in here. Oh, come on, I press shift to run, I automatically get up, okay. Found a tape deck. I can play music? That's awesome. I have a flashlight, that's cool. Where would I find the pistol? Maybe in here. Or maybe in the bedroom. No, I probably have to unlock the room with the pistol. In. Oh, I found the pistol. Cool. Um, adjust the way. Oh, adjust the whiteboard. Right. There was zero. I can do this now. That's upgraded. Yeah, fuck you, spider. I thought I heard another one, but I must have been mistaken. Uh, what else am I looking for? Oh, I found them all. What did that open then? That opened this? The front door. I've never been outside before. Take your, your first steps into turning your house into a ham. Tour our model ham home refitted with our highest quality. So I just shattered these people's windows in a fucking store. I went into this house in a store and I was like, you know what? Fuck your store. Give me a pistol. For a split second, I thought like, hey, I actually have to, uh... Oh!
Oh, there's the ship from the last game. Fuck you. I don't like that. Not one bit. What's with these magic walls everywhere? tank. You know how fucking cool that would be to drive around in a tank and blow up spiders? Oh, fuck. I hope so. I hope that's the final level. Instead of a nuke going off, we get a tank this time to blow up as many spiders as we want. That'd be so cool. Back in business. Why are these plants fake? I don't want these fucking fake plants. Scanning. Scan faster. Continue. Rescan. Hi, Bella. Oh. Spider spiders detected is an error. I can still do that. Nice. Bullet ammo. Hell yeah. Uh oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're good. I was just like, oh yeah, I'll throw this thing and explode and damage the window and it gave me an achievement. Wait, is this like the hub world? Am I getting, uh... Yeah, I think this is a hub world. I, I This is giving me like, uh... Doom Eternal vibes. Talk to Darwin. I hear another spider somewhere around here. Continue. Error, 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 arrow, er. Err, roar. <laughs> er, or. <laughs> Hello, as the operating artificial intelligence of this vessel, vest vessel, I wish to employ your extermination services. Will you accept? Ah. Uh, ooh, tough choice. Um. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. <laughs> Response documented. Please review the terms and conditions of the, of the proposed employment contract before signing. The contract is entered into between the HSF AI designated Darwin, here and after referred to as the client, and Kill It With Fire Pest Control Inc., here and after referred to as the exterminator. The exterminator agrees to provide services as follows. Pests to be exterminated, spiders, jumping spiders, more spiders, radioactive spiders, and or any spiders not as of yet discovered. Service locations. H <laughs> Exterminator. Bella, what? Hi. What do you want? Hi. Hi. Come here. Oh, hey, big girl. Hi. Mm. Oh, you sound angry, but you're actually big lovey dovey. I love you too. Oh, doesn't she just sound so happy? Hi. I love you. <laughs> I love you, girl. Get out of here. Bye. Hi. Oh, now she's pressing her head up against my hand. She wants attention now. 
Thank you for the kisses, baby. She's loving the kisses? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Service locations. HSF Vindicator. Dimensions. Omega 2. Iota 8. Size 6. Lambda 3. Alpha 1. Bella, don't do it. Bella. There's enough room for you there. Good girl. The exterminator will be expected to recover data chips and compound X for the client in order to operate the interdimensional space gate and power various blast doors. The exterminator guarantees the effectiveness of the pest extermination services and will be... Retreat the area if pests reappear within 30 standardized, 30 standardized solar cycles within 30 years. Fantastic. <laughs> the exterminator will perform pest extermination services in a professional and effective manner using appropriate methods and equipment. Oh, appropriate. <laughs> the maintains appropriate insurance coverage and the client shall not hold the exterminator liable for any damages caused during the service. Yes. You cannot hold me liable for how many buildings I destroy. It sounds like a commitment, not a job, right? This contract shall be governed... I got to you for reading all the contract. This contract shall be governed by the laws of the human space fleet of Dimension Alpha 1. Click below to sign. Very good. Your invoice may be submitted upon completion of services. Report to the monitor labeled campaign status for further instructions. I can repeat the contract? Do I get an achievement for going through the entire contract again? So after going through, uh, no, after seeing what's going on with Disney, I don't want to, I don't want to sign a contract for reading it all the way through. Twice at least. <laughs> okay, no, nothing new. Our campaign staff is over here, right? Yeah. The source of the spider invasion resides in Dimension Alpha 1. The Vindicator is equipped with an interdimensional space gate capable of transporting you to an active dimension. Activate gate. Error. Interdimensional space gate is one of 39,243 systems currently experiencing malfunctions. How irritating. To open a gateway to Alpha 1, we will need to recover a data chip and containing coordinates for that dimension. Unfortunately, most of our data chips were strewn across the neighboring dimensions during the spider's assault on the Vindicator. Report to the monitor labeled vessel status for further instructions. Consider this your final cognitive performance test. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> uh, where am I going? I'm going over here. Congratulations, on passing your final con. <laughs> that was the test. Deploying cells were a confetti. There was confetti. Errors. Cells were confetti is one of 39,242 systems currently experiencing malfunctions. I gotta fix that. I want my confetti. Many of the Vindicator systems are powered by a crystallized fuel source known as Compound X. Like the data chips, the spiders have scattered a supply of Compound X across neighboring dimensions. Take the X crystal from the container nearby and use it to power up the bridge's blast door. If you can recover additional Compound X, I should be able to restore functionality to several of the Vindicator systems that may ha you may find helpful. The interdimensional space gate is located in the hangar. Proceed with caution. I found a compound X. Nice. Ooh, wait, uh, that, 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 no. Give me that. Give me the tape. Crew log. 0093. Can I read that? No. What? Ah, what? The gun turned into a spider. I like the giant spiders. Oh. 
This is another spider, right? This cool gun. How did I know? What's this? Bullet ammo, nice. Turn the weights to the weight rack. Wait, what? There's a weight rack? That was a fake. I was wondering why it wasn't showing up on there. Kill more spiders. I have killed more spiders. Hell yeah. I found the last one a complete accident. Couple here. Hey, that was a fake. Die. Thank you. Why well, I can't believe it would lie to me like that. It was so rude. like here's one here's one I can't trust anything anymore because the things can be secret spiders is this a spider I don't know is this a spider could be what about this one here are you a spider is the fork a spider is the box a spider? Where's that last explosive canister? Here it is! Okay, that, no, that was spiders. Is this spider? Is my Chinese food a spider? Are these cans a spider? No, none of it seems to be a spider, okay. Hey, wait. Nice. I did. I returned the waste to the rack. Oh, I found another one. Cool. Kill more spiders. I did that. Kill tangle. Oh, oh no. Collect audio webs. It's just called a tangle. I thought it said kill tangle spiders for a sec. I'm going to go to the hangar or to the science wing? I can't go to the science wing yet. Let's go to the hangar. I can't go to the- I want to go to the armory, but I can't. This is a spider! They're not spiders. This is a spider! They're not spiders. Oh, I do have ammo to worry about. Oh, there we go. I see my equipment. Okay, cool. Tank! Gimme tank! I want tank! Let me in! Let me in! I want in! Let me in! Let me in! I can't- I- I can't get in the tank. This is the worst game I've ever made. I can't get in the fucking tank. Cyber exterminator. What? Debug the gate's power converters. Spider? No, that's real. And restore the teleport between the bridge and the hangar. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's three pages of stuff. Oh shit, okay. 
So I might not even be able to do it all right now. You think if I could get them, I might be able to do them. I assume these are the power converters. I don't see any more bugs on them though. This terminal controls the interdimensional space gate, providing you access to dimensions across all time and space. Please take no more than 30 seconds to admire its complexity. Okay, nothing new. Given the recent damage suffered by the Vindicator sy subsystems, the interdimensional space gates power system will need to be manually debugged. I believe that falls under your purview. I designed two different user interfaces for this task. Please select the option you believe matches, matches your problem solving abilities. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Well done. On an unrelated note, I would like to remind you that you are not being paid by the hour. <laughs> to travel to another dimension, you will need a data chip that contains irrelevant coordinates. The coordinates for dimension Psi 6 are encoded on a data map that are contained near this terminal. Collect the data chip, then return to this terminal to activate the gate. Is this the data chip? Like it. Nice, you got a you got a data chip. Turn the terminal to activate a gateway to dimension dimension size six. There's still something else to do though. I need to collect one more audio log. I need to find that. Why is it screaming at me? Why is that one screaming at me? The balcony is missing entirely? Wow, what One more audio log somewhere. Collect compound X across all dimensions. 20 compound X, okay. I hear a spider out here. I will blow up this entire ship to find you. Not that I will need to do that, but. I hear it like right here. I found you! You bitch. <laughs> Where'd the other one go? I have a gun. All right, fine. I have the spider. Fire ammo, nice. Now 
enter information. Don't hesitate to come to me if you require additional information. You're only human, after all. Please select a conversational topic. Tapes. Individuals in every dimension have an obsession with documenting their own experiences, whether it be through journals, songs, or countless other means. Whoops, wrong button. If you discover any such recordings, you can use your tape deck to investigate them. Of course, I consider these biased recordings redundant if given I have an objective given I have an objective archive of all human history. But hey, go ahead and listen to a podcast instead. Don't hesitate to come to me if you require additional information. You're only human after all. Please select a conversational topic. It's occurred to me that you may encounter several concepts and creatures that are not native to Earth, Omega-2, such as table tennis or morph spiders. <laughs> morph spiders mimic objects at random that, and have the irritable side effect of disrupting spider tracking technology. They're also quite large, though not as large as the life forms I'm currently detecting in the ventilation system. The w what? Let's not worry about that for now. No, I think we should worry about that. That's before, no, no, not table tennis. No one gives us throw fucking table tennis. What, what are you talking about? The shit in the fucking vents? Oh. Yeah, let's talk about table tennis. It's like tennis, but smaller. I hope you found this conversation inform informative. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I still need one more tape, though. Where the fuck is the last tape? Oh, those are morph spiders. Okay. I don't know where there might be another tape. My sensors have detected an abnormal concentration of spiders in a structure known as Artois Manor, along with a human space fleet data chip. Remember that any and all paranormal anomalies have a logical explanation. Retrieve the data chip and return to the Vindicator. The International Space Gate is now open. Please proceed with caution. Whoops. Artois Manor. Dimension size six. What? Oh, I was a more spider. I fucking jumped at me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I can burn webs. the fireplace that's, that's his point oh it's on me the spiders couldn't land on me that's really weird Not vandalism, I'm just trying to make sure they're all actually dead.
Oh, that's actually a weapon. Nice. Candle. Hi, I hope you don't mind that I shot you. God damn it. Teleported away. This is a question mark now. For uh, burning webs, I get. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's. It's time for some Luigi's Mansion in this shit. the door over here. Very good. Put another skull in here. Surprisingly, it doesn't look like it. There's a more spider out here. Here, holy shit, okay. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? It's so Oh it's it's just a it's just a jumping spider spawning me. I thought it was a giant spider somewhere. But no, it's just just a big spider. Oh it's just a jumping spider that was on me. I'm still not used to spiders being able to jump onto me. Close door behind you. Spin three times in a circle clockwise. Reopen the door. You're ready to try again. One, two, three. Hey, it worked.
Brewing potions is an exact science. If I suppose you did something wrong. Use two fires for a simmer, three for a boil. You little sir, never leave the ladle in the cauldron. Not all ingredients are in this room. Keep an eye out for more recipes. Spider potion. Bring cauldron with simmer. That's two fires? Yes. Add an eye of newt, a butterfly wing, and a beetle. This is like an eye of newt. Not an eye of newt. One, two, three. Butterfly wing. Shit, that's about to. One, two, three. Where's the eye of newt? No, first, bring to a simmer. Eye of newt. Butterfly wing. And a beetle. Are these beetles over here? I assume they are. Heat at a boil until the potion turns brown. Add one small mushroom. Bring to a rolling boil until potion turns blue. Turn vigorously until potion turns orange. Where, where's the ladle? Oh, there's the ladle. Oh, I, I stir after it becomes blue. Okay. And then I stir until the potion turns orange. This is really fucking hard stirring. There we go. Kinda got a Got a spider potion. What does this do? Oh! I'm a spider! That's pretty cool, honestly. Oh, no, that's for a few seconds, though. Hey, I'm a, I'm a spider. Just kidding, idiot. I'm not a spider. Why? Okay, uh, I don't know why it's opening the credits, but uh, we're back. Oh, I'm back. I can't skip the credits. I accidentally opened the credits. I didn't mean to start the credits. I just want to click on the game. Okay, anyway, well, the credits are going. We're back. Uh, my PC blue screen for some reason. No clue why. Um... I have returned. Oh, hold on a sec. Sorry. I have no fucking clue why that happened. Oh, it says that currently 100% of the CPU is being used up. By what? Can you through Fazzle? I can't. It shouldn't be. It's. 22 on Streamlabs, 40 on the game, and then nothing else is taking up the rest. Now it's at 72%. Streamlabs is doing an extra 3%, but that's it. 96? Why the fuck is it 96? Yeah, apparently, unless there's some something else taking up, like...
Okay, so that's using like 5%, but that's only 5%. What's this? Service host Windows update? Whatever. Still doesn't add up to fucking 90. In the background? It shouldn't be. Let me check. No, it was not doing anything in the background. Ah, oh, they're playing music. Nice. Yes, the game and stream was running, adding up to 60. Where the fuck is the other, right now, 15% coming from? There's two, three, those? System, yeah, okay, I imagine system would be using uh, at least a little bit. Desktop window manager. I have no clue. Uh, let's drop the resolution down. Fucking monitors, and we'll drop this to potato quality because it might make the game look funny. Let's try this again. Oh no, that just that just looks awful. I can barely fucking read that. I definitely want at least medium. I'd w oh yeah, okay. I'll try windowed. I I can still barely read my fucking objectives. Oh, I also didn't hit apply. There we go. I can still barely read my objectives. Wrong one. I, uh, that might not, not even be the quality, that might be the uh, resolution. Oh yeah, there we go, I can, re I can read them now. So let's open this one. Okay, so auto save part way through this. Part way through this then. But yeah, potato quality is uh, that is pretty funny, honestly. Let's go back to Artois Manor. Do I still have the potion at least? Tail. Fair. Yeah, I st should still have the potion. Yeah, I still have the potion. Okay. Where was that room where we were brewing the potion? Here it is. I need to find another potion thing. But there's also... Somewhere around here. There's a more spider somewhere around here. Can I break that?
I have the ladle. Bitch. I was wondering why there were two ladles, because that was the only one in the room, it looks like. Cool. No, you fucking stay down, asshole. <laughs> he jumped, but died mid-jump, so he just kind of went flying dead. Idiot. There we go. Clear more skulls. I lit three, but there's probably more than three. That light? That did light, good. And web, that's rude. Let's go in here. I see this. Kill spiders with sniper rifle. Nice. <laughs> I like the scope. I appreciate the scope. I hear more. Gotcha, bitch. I haven't webbed again. That's four. I need one more now. I'll take some fire ammo, sure, why not? Probably one out here. Somewhere. Here, maybe? There we go. I did it. I like to have an explosive, that'd be cool. An explosive probably for like... Where'd you go? Where'd that fucking more spider go? Cool, but I want the more spider. It's still in here somewhere. Right there. No, right here. No, right here. Right here. Oh, fucking game just crashed. Huh. It is early access, but... At least the game crashed and not the entire computer. So that's cool, I guess. Looks like I might not be able to play it too much this year, unfortunately. Or too much this October. And if I can't, I do have something else I can do. So if, if it messed up one more time, then I'll switch to the other thing I can do uh, tonight. But I really want to play this, because I've just been so excited to play this. I'll go in there after, after, because I'm not supposed to 
really be able to go in there yet because I haven't completed this place yet. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one more time. <laughs> oh, I just realized I never turned this on. And my fucking room light is still on. That's very br even brighter than it was before. That's a little better. Now I'm not being bl now I'm not blinding myself, trying to uh, trying to see the fucking tr trying to look good on camera. Which one of you was the more spider? There you are. Where's my pistol? Nice. I'll probably listen to those later. I can grab my data chip. Great job. Use the nearby portal to return to the Vindicator. Oh, no thanks. I don't want to go back yet. That is a lot of clocks. I thought maybe one of them would be a morph spider, but I guess not. Ooh, upstairs. It's not a, uh... Oh, I have to hang them up. Okay. Interesting. Their souls to rest. This one feels like it should be out here. And this one feels like it should be in here. Ooh, door. for other things to place. Access the bedroom and bathroom. This one goes here. Where the other thing got there is the chisel. So we're looking for one more now. Ooh. I mean, you're vindicated to power up your equipment. Ooh, I can make my equipment stronger? That's cool. Last one's an iPhone. Nice, I did it. Lay the ghost of Artois Manor to rest. Nice. There was another door I could open too, I think, right? Unless that was it. That may have been it, actually. Yeah, I think that's it, okay. Ooh, I want that. Extinguish hallway candles while evading a spider statue. Oh, I see the problem. Oh, I 
Oh, I, I activate and do a thing with them. Okay, gotcha. Oh, he got me. Damn. Oh! I just straight up died. Okay, where are they? Okay, there's one here. There's one here. And there's one here. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Not here. <laughs> I saw that, you bitch. Fucking launch that painting. Fuck you. Nice, I completed hide and seek. And as my reward, I get to Bam. I don't really know what the point of that was, but okay. I did it, at least. I get this. This is my reward. I'm taking my trophy. Fuck you. You can have my trophy. I don't want it anymore. That's a loser's trophy. And I'm not a loser. I'm a winner. I guess I'm ready to go then. We covered data chip. You can now open a portal to dimensional lambda three. Access the terminal and the hangar to activate the gateway. Hell yeah. Okay, it's already installed. Cool. Let's go see the armory. Now that I can. the weapons in order to upgrade your equipment. Aww. There's a more spider somewhere. Ah, I found you! Equipment upgrade terminal. You found your way in. Excellent. If you discover any upgrade modules while on the job, they can be deconstructed here to modify your weapons and equipment. I assume you meet the necessary proficiency requirements. We wouldn't want you doing anything unsafe, would we? Complete objectives and challenges. 12 out of 20. Collect hidden items. 18 out of 35. 
Vacuum living or dead spiders. I can do that. Oh, I can't vacuum with more spiders, huh? That's boring. Okay, all right, so I need to work on that before I can. Okay. All right, I actually need to run to the washroom quickly, so I will be right back. The game just crashed. As soon as I paused, the game crashed. So when I get back, we're gonna switch to doing something else. <laughs> See, again, I will be right back.
All right, there we go. I am back. Uh, so I don't. I really don't know what's going on with the game. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that it keeps crashing, but it is an early access, so whatever. But uh, again, I do have an idea for something else that I can do just for the rest of the stream. Just as I was thinking of doing this like tomorrow morning on stream or something, but. Why do that when, sorry, I was running up and down the stairs a bunch. Why do that when I can do this instead? Hold on, I'm just getting something ready. Uh, apologies if this is really loud for a sec. I'm gonna try and grab it right away. Pause. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Kind of. It stopped. Why did it stop? It, YouTube is breaking. Why is YouTube breaking? I just want to restart the fucking music. But YouTube keeps breaking. Why is YouTube breaking? It keeps fucking breaking. I don't. Why does it keep breaking? There we go. Can I, there we go. Now it's not breaking. Ah, so now I can turn it up a little bit. And I was thinking, like, you know, like, so recently, uh, my nephew's been cleaning his room and he's been getting rid of a lot of stuff he doesn't want. And he found something in there he never touched, he never opened, and I thought, you know what, it might be fun to mess with it. So if I... I am show this off here. So this is what I'll be doing for the rest of the stream. I assume all the, everything's still here, but it is, uh... This is the Lego Charizard, or basically Lego Mega Constructs Charizard. So I thought, you know what, it might be fun to do. So... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have any other short uh, horror games to play right now, so yeah. <laughs> so if I just put the camera down here, uh, I've never actually done this with the camera before, so I don't know how happy or upset. I do have a cookie sheet here because I don't want to fucking lose anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I keep forgetting you guys can't see my face now. <laughs> you can see my hands. But uh, yeah. Um, I bought this, I actually bought this for my nephew years ago for Christmas and he never fucking opened it. How rude. I'm gonna move the mic to the side of it so I don't accidentally bump it with the tray. How the fuck do I open this thing? That comes out, but I don't think that comes out yet. Does it? No, I have to get this shit first. I just wish I had like a further away camera. Or that like the, uh, the desk was a little lower. I'm already lost on how to fucking open this thing. It really shows when I can't even open the fucking box. Maybe these do have to come out first. Well, it wants to come out now. But, uh... Oh, that's why it's still taped. <laughs> it's still fucking taped. Uh, do I have a knife up here? I did. Um, I don't know if I do any more though. I guess I don't have a knife up here anymore. Oh, well, I've got the handle of a spoon that might work. <laughs> no, it's not working. <laughs> Put it with the other spoons I need to still need to bring downstairs. I could have sworn I had a fucking knife in here. Okay, alright, well, I'm gonna go get a knife, so I will be right back.
All right, sorry about that. I'm back now, and I have a knife with me. I'll get my earbuds in. It would be nice to hear the music a little bit as well. Okay. Don't cut towards myself. That would be a bad idea. Oh, wait. I need to change the fucking stream stuff quickly. Uh, change this to... Change the stream title. Change the category to just chatting. And then. There we go. That's all updated now. Again, I, I, did, I did borrow a cookie sheet from downstairs because I don't want to lose all the fucking pieces. Oh, I can already feel it trying to open. Ah. Now, I did have a whole bunch of these before. Like, before we moved out here, I did a whole bunch of these. One was like, uh... I had a Lapras and uh, a Detective Pikachu. And... Oh, what were the other ones that I had? Oh, I had a Dragonite. They were all really cool. Is Charizard? <laughs> or... Drakauf... Drakaufu or Glurik. I'm not making fun of other languages, but I love the idea of you have all these cool starters. You got like Bulbasaur who's there, I know I saw one of them there. You got Squirtle, you got Charmander, and they evolve into these cool things, and then Glurik. <laughs> That's interesting. These are all our pieces. This is Charizard then. He's got a lot of orange and a lot of... Oh, I see. His wings are pre-made, so I don't build the wings. Okay, I thought I would. I do not. I like that the wings have, like, cardboard on them so that the wings don't get damaged. I wonder if they bend. Maybe that's why the cardboard's there. I don't know. Oh, cool. It looks like it like highlights the part of the body that you're making. So, like, here we're making, uh... Can I turn this off? That helps a little bit. So, yeah, like, here we're making Charizard's body, I guess? I can't fucking see it without the light very well. Okay. So, we're making Charizard's body. I don't... Does it say what... No, it doesn't say anything about like what bags you have to open, so I guess we just open all of them and find the pieces we need. Hey, isn't this the Furret I Can Walk song? This was like the Furret Walking Up an Escalator until Gen 4 Remakes come out song. And yeah, I haven't built one of these in so long, so I'm excited to get around to building one again. I'm just, I'm very paranoid about losing a piece, so I'm being very careful. Or I'm trying to be very careful. Which I guess is saying something. Oh, the wings are pre-packaged. Oh, they are bendy. Ooh, that's why they got the cardboard then. Okay, so the wings can stay in their own bag. Oh, no. It's Charizard's skull. Oh, you can't see it. It's Charizard's face. <laughs> I'm not used to this camera angle. I have to come in a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Good little teethies. Is there a bottom? There's a bottom jaw. But I don't think I put the teethies in the bottom jaw. I'll have to build like his tongue and stuff. Does he have a buildable tongue? Yeah, he's got a buildable tongue. With fire coming off his tongue, that's cool. Okay, anyway, body first. So we need... 
instructions here. Uh, I need two two by twos and then two one by threes. There's a one by three, there's a one by three. And these look like orange two by twos, not not this little red one here. Uh, well, I suppose I can probably put this right here so I can get a better. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see what you guys can see right in front of me. And then go ahead and grab the uh, the music, bring it over here. There we go. I found the fire for his uh fire. <laughs> uh, here's here's one. Here's another one. This is great. Oh, I I, I hope it's entertaining. <laughs> So how does that go? It's just a, a guy messing with his Legos for Halloween. See, it's Halloween themed because they're orange, and orange is a spooky Halloween color. <laughs> I really didn't know what else to do this, so I just thought, whatever, I'll do it now. Is that a Pokeball? There's a Pokeball here. Was there a Pokeball in the picture? No. Well, actually, it's a heavy ball, I think, but... That is a heavy ball, right? Is that a heavy ball? Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the monitor. Is that a heavy ball? Yeah, I, I, I want a second camera for this exact reason, so if I want to do something like this, I can still have my face in the side. Yeah, there's a heavy ball. I was 100% I, I was right. Where's the thing that I just built? There it is. <laughs> What is that? I see... Something over... Oh, it's just a cord off something. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted by something on my desk. <laughs> but I hope this is entertaining enough watching me build a Charizard. Oh, what's next in the instructions? Next is, uh... 2x2 two two flat plates. Uh, there. This one. And I put them on the sides of this thing. No, stay, don't, stop. It, it, gravity's trying to flip the page back. You love it? Oh, I'm glad. Uh, two by two flat, pl oh, here's one. And here's another one. So then I take them and I put them on the edges. Yeah. There. You might not believe me, but that's a Charizard. <laughs> okay, no, no, this song is too slow, too sad. I haven't played Black and White in a hot minute, but this song is too slow, too sad. Can I skip this one? Uh, really? Uh, no one's made like an easy <laughs> skip for the, for here, because the song I'm using it is a. Almost five hour video of Pokemon and chill relaxing music. There we go, that's better. <laughs> uh, what's next? Next I need... Two one by three double plate pieces as per here. At, as per here. <laughs> you know, it would be way easier if I just was smart and I did this. Uh, oh, actually that's not the full camera apparently. Oh, that blue, you can see the, the blue glow of my capture card. But if I do a wild idea, flip it vertical. So that way, when I hold it like this to read it, you guys can see it the proper way. <laughs> I am so smart. I am a genius. Because right now I'm reading this, so it's not like backwards. Because this is how I was holding it before. But it'd be upside down for you guys. But now it's, it's correct for me, so I don't have to sacrifice... Either myself or stream not being able to read it. So I need, yeah, two reversible one by threes. Is that one? No. Is that one? Yes, that is one. Is this one? No. No. No.
Come on. There's at least one. Oh, here's one. I lost it. There we go. And how does this go? They connect across the bottom of the other one by threes. Okay. Does it matter which way they go on? It says the flap. The non indented part. This part has like those indents in it. Ah, that's a weird way of pin, right? This one's like, it's like indented, but this one is like flat on, on the end. So it says to have this part sticking out. Not that I think it matters too much. And I'm going to hold it for, further out so you guys can see. That's the first page done. Ooh. That's complex. So it's two two by two bricks with the studs on the side and then two one by one red bricks with the studs on the side. So like this, yeah, like this one. Or like this one, or and like this one. And then this one. And then this one. I'm gonna try not to stick my head in frame. Okay, I didn't stick my head in frame, good. And how do those go on? Kinda weird they didn't just do like one by threes for that, but whatever. Okay. So I take this, uh, that side's sticking out, so that's this side. I take one of these, I put it here, and I take this one, the orange one, and I put it here, and then I do the opposite on this side. I don't think it matters too much whether it's like symmetrical or staggered like that, but yeah. I'm not used to chat being over here. I used to chat being over there, but chat's over there this time. Over there. <laughs> Ow. It hurts my wrist like that. Oh, we got complex piece. Two one by two flats and two one by two half circles. That's a little weird. That's a little easier for you guys to see. There we go. I have to make two of those things. Okay. So two by two one by two half circles and two one by two flats. Oh, here's a half circle. There we go. Clear area for what we're, what we're doing. Uh, is it a flat? No. Here's one. And here's another one. And here's another one. And here's another one. <laughs> and one more half circle. There. Right, it has the little ball joint thing in it. Yes. Oh, whoops, I dropped it. So I do this. Ow. And then I do this again. There we go. And then I make one more of these. Kind of hard to see a little bit. Because it's so shiny. And two. 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 <laughs> there we go. And then how do those go on? Those go on the edges here, it looks like, with the plates facing down. And then that half circle is facing out. Once again, that is a Charizard. <laughs> I imagine it's gonna be like his torso or something. So now I got these bottom two ones here, these two. Number six, we need two one by two yellow plates and two one by three orange plates. Okay, I see how that works. Here's a one by two yellow. Here's a one by two yellow. Here's a one by three orange. And that's a one by four. One by three orange. 
and then it looks like I take these and I put them on like this. And then I stack these two on top of each other in the middle. That's definitely Charizard's like belly and I think neck. No, just belly color. This is Charizard. This is Charizard's belly. That is Charizard's belly. From an oncoming perspective. That is very bright. Why is that light affecting you guys so much? There we go. What's next? Four of these cream no not cream, yellow, uh quarter circle pieces or quarter oval pieces. And they want to make that. They're like a one stair. Cause I think it was the Dragonite where they're like you had to worry worry about like it was like the one stair or the two stair. Oh yeah, like it's not that. It's like this one. Two three four. I'm kinda hunching over just can I lower myself a little more? Doesn't hurt my back as much to do. That's a little bit better. What is this? I didn't even see this before. Yeah, like a fire thing. That's cool. Oh, that's for his tail. This is for his tail. It's a fire thing for his tail. Ah. Okay, so. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. I need to go up. I need to go back up. I don't like it. I feel too short doing it. If I hurt my back doing this, then so be it. Okay, so I take these four and I put them on like this. And three and four. That's starting to look like a Charizard belly a little bit. A little, I guess. Let me go on to the bottom page here with step eight. One one by two flat and one one by two flat with like weird circles on the side. Or two two by two flats, sorry, with weird circles on the side. So like here's a solid one by two flat. Ooh. That's an interesting piece. It's like a one by two flat, but it's like an oval. Sorry, I haven't played with Lego in so long, so I'm just I'm enjoying this experience way too much. <laughs> um I'm seeing like ones like this with like one by two reversibles with the ball joints on it, but not what I'm looking for right now. These two are together, but that's not what I'm looking for. Is that it? No. Are they in the wing pack, maybe? No, the wing pack only has the wings in them. Oh, here's one. I need two of those, right? That's the wrong page. Yes, I need two. Where's the other one? I think there's only two of these in here. And I have these, which are basically it, but one by ones. Not what I'm looking for though. Oh, there it is. Found it. And how does it go on? Oh, I see. Okay. On the orange side. Okay. I, I found another one. I, I actually found, I saw it's like, oh, there's one of my pieces, but I actually found another one. I flip this over, and the normal one goes in the middle. Come on. There you go. And then this one goes here. And then this one goes here. Cool. 
And what's next? Step nine. Oh, this step again. Okay, that's, that's easy enough. I hope. Okay, looks like these are the last two of these red pieces, so they're not hard to find. And then... Yeah, one of these. And then one of these. And they go on here. So, red. Whoops, that's not on properly. Red. And orange. And then red. Red. Oh, hon. Thank you. And orange. There we go. <laughs> it looks like a little robot. <laughs> Alright, it's easy to see like this. He looks like a little robot. <laughs> What's next? Two one by three orange pieces. One and two. Easy enough. And how do those go on? Just across the top. Okay. Like so. Little robot has hair now. <laughs> Although the hair is the same color as the skin. Which, I mean, it's not impossible. Ooh, we're building the robot headphones? I don't know. Anyway, two one by 2s and four of these things, which four of these quarter circle pieces. Kind of like the yellow ones, but they're orange this time. Oh yeah, like absolutely everything is in fucking orange already. These ones don't have holes in the top, though. These are just regular 1x2s. Okay. Here's one. Here's another. And I gotta find the fucking quarter circles now. Yes, that's a quarter circle, but not the right... Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, see? This is what I was talking about. Sometimes you'll have... Oh. A short one and a long one. And this one's also thicker. You gotta be really careful which one it specifies. I do, I do want this one, though. I don't know why I put it back. Is that? No. I just tossed his head. I'm sorry, Charizard. I don't know if I'm blind. I'm just not fucking... Oh, wait, is that? No. I'm not fucking seeing the pieces I need. <laughs> oh, here's one. Two. I need four of them. Yeah. There's probably like exactly four in here. Oh, three. <laughs> that, I can pass that off, right? That's it, right? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> no! Oh, there's four. Found it. How does this go on? So I turn them into that abomination, and then I stick them on the sides of the robot's head. Okay. Is this song from Gen? This song sounds like it's from Gen Four. I don't know for sure. Uh, Platinum was the first Pokemon game I played, so I have nostalgia for it, but. It's been so long that I played since I played, and I've played so many other Pokemon games since that I could just be mixing up nostalgia with other other Pokemon games that I played. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like a robot so much anymore. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we're on to the next page now. Number 12. This one here. We need these studs. And then two of these one by one ball joint things. And then one of these one by threes. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. There you go. 
Looks like that one there in the middle is a stud. Right there. So I'm 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 hoping that's the case. I mean one of these. And then Oh, these two. And then this. And how does it go together? It all goes on top. Uh, it doesn't really look like it has a front or a back yet. So, okay. So the three goes right here. And the stud goes in the middle. And then these go here. Okay, there's now a defined front and back, it seems. So that's cool. We'll stay on. There we go. <laughs> Alright, next. 13. So we need two of these 1x1 one one ball joints and then one of these 1x3s. And it kind of saddles around the other one, but the ball joints stick out. Okay. I'll put this down and I'll collect my pieces first. Okay, 1x3. And then one 1x1 one by, one by one ball joint. And then... Another one. Okay, and then, so, the one by three goes across these three, specifically. And then, this one goes here. And the other mirrors it. Come on. Come on, there we go. All right. I gotta push this back a little bit. Uh, what next? Step 14. We need one of these hand looking things. And then it goes in that slot there, that's it. Well, that's a pretty easy step 14, I think, I hope. Cause it looks like it goes in like sideways, so the gap is go like front and back. I don't know if that matters cause it's a ball joint gap. So, yeah. Oh wait, I was thinking like this one. But no, this one has the ball joint on the bottom. I want one that has like one of these bottoms. Like the little stick bottom thing. Oh, like this one right here. Exactly like this one. And this one just sits right in here. Ow, it's pokey. <laughs> well, he's starting to come together. Oh, is this actually... No, I think this is supposed to be his stomach, and this is his, uh... That's his ass. That is a Charizard's ass. This is a lewd stream now. <laughs> Alright, 15. Got this one here. We need a stud. Oh, one of these weird cap things with a side thing. And then... One of these shoulder pieces. <laughs> <laughs> or two of those shoulder pieces, actually. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault. It's a Charizard's ass. It's supposed to be his ass. This is... This is like that under part of the Charizard. I, I, I can't really show it because the way the picture's taken, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I need a, a stud. It's like this. And then I need... I don't see the piece I need right away. Oh, hey, I found Charizard's tongue. That's probably his tongue there. It's nice. It's very bright and pink. So there's a good chance we won't use all of these, but most of them probably. Oh, here we go. This is the piece. No, that's not the piece I need. That's not a cap. Oh, here we go. There's the cap. That's the piece I need. And then two of these round shoulder things. Like this. Like that one. You see, because like it's it, it's rounded like that. Oh, here's another one. Alright, so how does this go? So look at that. 
Whoops. It looks like these two pieces slip together into some sort of robot look. <laughs> I keep saying it looks like a robot. Um. Okay, I think I get it. So these, they go together and then go on onto here, this middle piece. And then these two slip onto the sides like shoulder blades, I guess. Yeah, like shoulders like across here and then across here. Oh, what was this for? Is this? This is Gen 4, right? This has got to be Gen 4. There's no way this isn't Gen 4. Watch it not be. It's actually Gen 2. <laughs> I'm also equally. This, this isn't what I'm looking for. This is a double sided stud. That's all I'm looking for. I want a regular stud like this. There we go. Fucking handbook keeps trying to fold in on stop. There, that works. Okay, so I take this one. Shit, I dropped it. I take this one. And I put this one on top. God damn it. It wedged itself. Just don't angle yourself, you ass. No, go in. Fuck. I can't get it to go in. Fuck! It keeps doing that shit! That's not in! Fuck! Let's cheat. Okay, put it on there. I can eight. I'm cheating and it's still not working! <laughs> There we go. And then I just kind of... There we go. That's what I was trying to do. It's like a perfect fit. Actually, I want that. And then, No, I'll do these two first. One shoulder piece. It goes on like that, right? Yes, it goes on like that. And the other one goes right here. This is why I don't use directions. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wouldn't, but I, I do kind of want to actually build Charizard. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm not good enough with Lego to build build something without directions, really. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I need this piece. That's weird. It's like a 2x3x1 two by by or something. I don't know. 2x3x2? Two by by two? I don't know. And then I need a 1x4. Yeah, I'm trying to do this one, and it's telling me to put these two pieces together. At first I was confused, but then I saw this one over here, and it makes sense now. Whoops, Charizard fell over. Ah, oh, one by four, there we go. Okay, and the red goes on top of the orange, like... That. And then I need... Two two by two flats. And they fit on like that. There's one. Oh, two 2x2 two two flat oranges, not the yellow. And they kind of sit on the corners, it looks like. Like this. There we go. So listen, we're not messing with Charizard's body for now. Oh, looks like we're actually building his belly. But we'll worry about that later. Uh, now we need one... Wait, what? Why only one? Alright, we need one stud and... One orange stud and one one by two flat. There we go, camera focused finally. And this? Yeah, like that. Okay, so it looks like taking this, I put it here. Shit. Okay, I put it here, and the stud goes on the bottom of that. Shit, it all fell apart. 
It's not supposed to do a cosplay of my life. In. Alright. Snap together. Shit. <laughs> there we go, it worked. Finally. <laughs> okay, this one goes on right here. Why are those fucking studs so hard to work with? Next. <clears throat> one of these half circle with the square hole in it, yellow pieces. And then a two by two flat orange. And it kind of clips on weird like that. Oh, I think it's supposed to look like that in the end. Like that. Okay, so I need one of these. And one of these. Here we go. I like all these teeth I'm finding around. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, oops. Okay, so this two by two goes on here. And then, what? Oops. Oh, I see. Goes on like this. Like that? Ah, shit. I dropped it. I think that's supposed to be more straight, but yeah. That's the gist of it. It feels very... not stable at all. <laughs> Can I turn this down? Not not the music, but the, the, the light. No, it's about as low as it can go. What if I change to yellow? That kind of works a little better. I can still see. You guys can see, kind of. Okay, now I'm on to this one, step 20. I need two of these orange piece, triang triangular pieces, but like reverse from each other. And then two of these quarter circle round yellow pieces so like this one and this one for the yellow pieces and the orange pieces like this yeah like this and then the one that's the opposite of this ah here Nope, that, 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 that's right. That's right. I would say shit. No, that's the same, but no, that's right. And how does that go? Uh, they fit onto the bottom of this piece. So, like, this side of this piece. And then the yellows go on top. Connecting them together. Okay. I'll do the yellows first, I guess. So one of the yellows goes here. And the other one goes here. Shit. I can feel it trying to fall apart in my hands. The whole thing. And I flip these over and then they go like this. Yeah, they go like this. One goes here. One goes here. One goes here here and the other goes here there we go his belly's coming together it looks like it's just gonna clip right onto here probably it's not clipped on yet but it looks like that's where it's going to go <coughs> yeah I said this is but it's probably like the base of his tail so close enough Ooh, next page I need to Lubricate my throat. Because <clears throat> talking hurts after a while. For some reason. Next page. 
Okay, so. Step 21. I need two of these yellow quarter circle pieces again. Looks like they fit on the belly right there. Or on the thing right there. So I need... Wait, are these long ones? Do I need long ones? No, they look like short ones. I don't know if there are long yellow ones. Out of here. Okay, so one goes right here, right? Yeah. One goes on right here. And another goes on right here. Okay, next step I need, what do I need? Two of these yellow one by two flats. I don't know if they have to have the holes in the top, but they might all have holes in the top. I don't see any that don't have holes in the top, so I'm assuming they all. The book just tried closing. Good thing the book can't close like an idiot. Screw gravity. Gravity's causing me problems. Can these two go together? They go together. And these two snap together. Oh my god, something awful happened today. We got fucking snow. It was snowing for about five goddamn minutes today. It was awful. <laughs> I was like, no, it's... It's not even November yet. We can't have snow yet. <laughs> But, on a good note, my sister did buy a bake yourself apple crumble pie. So that sounds really good. I need three of these things. Three. And they kind of fit around the rest. Which sounds very good. We didn't celebrate Thanksgiving last weekend. Because we wanted to be able to do it with my dad. Okay, there's a third one. And my dad was working last weekend, so we're doing it this weekend. So we're doing turkey and everything. We had hail yesterday, like a huge... Oh, wow. And last one... Here. But yeah, so like, since my dad's here this week... Because he works one week on, one, one week off. So he's off this week, so we're actually doing uh, Thanksgiving this weekend. And it'll probably be good. I'm excited for apple pie. I love apple pie. It's my favorite kind of pie. I'm gonna two of these quarter circles and two of these quarter one eighth spherical shapes. And they set together like that, it looks like. Okay. So we're almost out of yellow pieces, actually. That's weird. Yeah, I guess the whole bot maybe that maybe that is his butt after all, cause that can't be his tail, cause the tail's probably all orange. Let's show it on here. Oh no, there there is yellow on the bottom side of his tail. That's what the plates are for. That book is the book is upside down, so I can't fucking read it. <coughs> and then these two pieces. And then they like that, whoops, and then like that, cool, and where, how do these go on? They go on here to kind of make it flush. That's a belly if I've ever seen one. That's a belly. That's a heckin' Charizard belly. They go on here. This... I want to say is Heart Gold Soul Silver, or at least Gen 2 music. Because my first game, Pokemon game, was Platinum, but then right after that, I got. My parents bought me Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I've. Heart Gold was stolen from me. I still have Soul Silver, though. But, uh. Yeah. There we go. Ooh! And the next step is fun. The next step. We get to put the pieces together. So we take this. Oh wait, which side do we put it on? Uh, looks like the side with the... Looks like the side. Because it's got the little... 
hook thing or ball joint thingy there. So this one here to sit basically flush like that. There we go. That's looking like a Charizard now. You can really see the girth of his belly. What's next? Ooh, next we're flipping over and we're working on his tail. Uh... So I take this piece and then I take this piece and then I put these pieces together there we go, that's part of his tail and then I have to um, in his And I've been banned on Twitch. <laughs> Sorry, Charizard. I can't imagine that was comfortable at all. <laughs> I mean, like, I know that's like that's not what I was doing, but like, how else am I supposed to take that? How else am I supposed to? How am I supposed to see that and be like, oh yeah, I'm totally not shoving this into somewhere where something shouldn't be shoved into on Charizard. <laughs> okay, next step, we're building. I don't know what that is. What does it look like when it's in? It looks like that. Uh, we're building Charizard's ass now, it seems. Probably just his back, but... Oof, oof indeed. <laughs> Poor Charizard. Okay, so I need a bunch of pieces for this. I need uh, one by... A two by two curved piece, I guess. One of these pieces. One of these L shapes. Whatever the hell that is and whatever the hell that is. Okay, all right, whatever. Uh, let's see, so I need... What else do I need? Any one of these? Is that the one? This is the one I need. <coughs> then I need not Charizard's lower jaw. Ooh. Almost like a biohazard symbol. I like that piece a lot. That's my favorite piece now. Uh, besides, of course, these clear studs. And then obviously the fire and the tail fire. Tail fire is probably my favorite one. Just because I've never seen anything like it before. Like fire, yeah, Legos had fire forever. But tail fire? Tail fire is cool. Um, anyway, stop getting distracted. I need... Uh, my chair keeps trying to roll away. Where's the piece I need? Uh, where's that curved piece? Why does this music sound sad? I don't like that it sounds sad. Oh, here we go. What is this for? Charizard, what is that used for? I don't see that on Charizard anywhere. Oh, maybe it's for the wings. Maybe for the wings? Maybe. Okay, then I need an L piece. Oh, right here. And then I need two very weird shaped pieces. Is this one of them? No, this one doesn't have a stud on top. This looks like one of the pieces I need, but backwards. I need like that, but not like that. Right here. This is the one that I need. This is the one I don't need. Not yet. And then where's the last thing that I need? Oh, one of these. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the piece. And then... Okay, we take this. Put it like that. Then we take this one here. And this one goes like this. And then this big long piece snaps on the end here. And a smaller piece snaps on right here. And this goes on next to Charizard's tail. 
uh, if I could get it on. It's not going on. There we go. That. That's an ass cheek, right? That's an ass cheek. <laughs> we're, we're making Charizard thick with five C's. Okay, what's the next step? If it's not the complete inverse of before, it's not the complete. No, the complete inverse step is, is not the next step. It's the step after the next step. This is the next step here. Three one by twos, one one by three, and then one of each of these. Okay. So three one by twos. There's one. No. Oh, two. Three. And then one by one, one by three, non reversible, so not this one. Oh here. Yeah. And then one of these short curve ones, and one of the long curve ones. There's a long curve one. And come. Oh no! I thought I saw it. I did not. Thought under his head. Where's the short curved one? I'm only seeing long curved ones. This has got to be like the last one. That's why I'm having trouble finding it. I'm not seeing the, the last piece I need. Am I blind? I might be blind. I think I'm blind. Hey, there's two fires. And you notice there's two fires until now. One of them is ye more yellow than the other. That's cool. Where's this last fucking piece I need? Who's over here? Because I, I need those pieces. I don't want to get them mixed up again. I'm just not seeing it. And yeah, the step does call for one of them. That's really weird. I didn't buy this thing second hand, did I? No, all the packages were, were, were sealed. There's no way it was second hand. Didn't fall out, right? No. Didn't fall out. It's here somewhere. That's a long curve. That's another long curve. I'm just blind. I've gotta be. There's this one which almost looks like it, but it's not quite. Call Lego, they done fucked up. It's not officially Lego though, unfortunately. It's uh... Mega Constructs. Mega Constructs, you done fucked up, I think. 
Unless I done fucked up and I'm just not seeing the piece. Oh my god, I found it. It's right here. I found it. I found the piece. That's it. That's that, That's the short curve. I found it. Hell yeah. I'm the best. <laughs> okay, now that I can stop freaking out about the fact that I may have lost a piece, which I didn't, now I actually assemble them. Because we start with two of these. We take the one by three and we put the two on the end, like so. And then we, wait, what? Oh, yeah, and this one gives an overhang. Hey, yeah, lucky I was starting my email. <laughs> well, thank you for defending me, but I'm good. I was, just, I was just blind, that's all. And that goes on there. And then the last one by two goes on here. And then the long one goes on here. And then all of this gets stuck on on the above Charizard's tail here. There we go. He's got a bumpy ass. It doesn't look, doesn't very, look very it doesn't look very comfortable to sit on. Okay. Now we just do this, which is the reverse of the other step. Uh, camera. There we go. Okay. So I need... What do I need? I need... One of these. Okay, I'll just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. There we go. One of those. And I need the other one of those wedge flat pieces. This one? Yeah, this one. I need another L. Right there. I need these pieces. So I need one of... I need this one. Which, yes, that's the piece I need. And then I need... This one? Yeah, this one. There we go. Okay, let's see. See the instructions. Okay, so we take this one like this, and then the L sits in here, and this piece goes like this here, and then the long piece goes right here. The tray just did a fucking pop. <laughs> that was a little spooky. I'm sorry if that was. I'm sorry if that was really loud. And then this piece goes on here, and this piece goes on here. <laughs> yeah, that, that fucking pop scared me. <laughs> and this all goes on his ass. Oh, it should go on his ass. There we go. He's got a very round back now. And that's not a round back. That is an that is a Charizard ass. Look at look at look at that. That's an ass. That's a Charizard ass if I've ever seen one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ooh, we're working on his legs now. We're done his belly. Now we're on his legs. So we need two of these half circle pieces, two flats, and two of these triangular shaped pieces. So, there's a flat, here's a half circle, here's a flat, oh 
another half circle piece. Oh yeah. And then one of these pieces and one of these pieces. Okay. How do these go together? So you take the semicircle and then you take the flat piece and you you put you put you put it you put you put it on ow you put it on there like that like that and then this piece with the it looks like the short end at the top goes on here oh fuck where's my fucking alert thing it's on it's on the bottom what why what wait what why is that oh that's why okay hey stern how's it going H hey everyone how's it going everyone how was uh uh content warning how was that are you i'm doing pretty good myself messing with some messing with some legos <laughs> but hey And then we replicate this again, like that. Where is always the scream fest? Nice. I, I I need to get it. It looks so much fun. I want to play it sometime, but I keep I keep putting off buying it. Oh right, we're starting something brand new, so we're not working on the uh, on the body anymore. Ooh, we're using the claws now. We need six claws and two of these weird pieces with three things sticking out. It's stupid fun. Awesome. Yeah, I remember I. Saw I was, when was that? Oh, it was when I was in Ontario. I saw it, and I messaged you. I was like, yo, we have to fucking play this. And you're like, oh yeah, no, that's a lot of fun. That's one of the pieces we need. Try those blocks and get out of the way. Those are built. We need one of these pieces. And then we need that piece again. Right here. But you know, it looks like it's a lot of fun. Wait, I thought we were building his feet. Oh, we are building his feet. I was gonna say they look like hands, but they're feet. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. But yeah, uh, we are building Charizard. Uh, here, this. This is what the final product will look like. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited doing this. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, but yeah, uh, we were playing Kill It With Fire 2 earlier, but the game kept crashing. So I decided, fuck it, we're doing this instead. And these kind of go in, sticking down. Or no, it doesn't matter which way they're facing, but... Whichever way I designate as down. But from what I did play of Kill It With Fire 2, it was pretty fun. I can't wait until the game becomes a little more stable. Three. Ooh, very spooky claws. And they stick onto the back of these things. Those are starting to look like feet now. Guys, sorry, I can't, I can't show this. You gotta pay uh, 10 bucks a month if you wanna see Charizard's feet. <laughs> uh, Charizard is starting at OnlyFans. So you, you can't see them unless you pay. <laughs> okay, we're doing this now. I need one of these weird stud things with the thing sticking off the side. It's kinda hard to see. You can kinda see there. It's got like a thing sticking off the side. And then two boiling and then whatever the hell that thing is. It looks kind of scary. I don't like that piece. This piece. Yeah, that piece. And what was it? A, one of these weird square studs and a one by two? There's the one by two. And then, oh, here we go. That piece. And how do these go together? 
So we take this one like... Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong piece. It's this one that I want. It's the same, but backwards. Yeah, they're the like, opposites of each other. But I want this one. Okay, so I take this one. And the one by two goes here. It goes on here, like... Like so. And then this piece goes with the thing sticking off the back. <coughs> Sorry. And 33, we need a stud. One of these one by twos with a ball joint on it, and then a one by three. Flat. So a stud, which I love. We all know I love working with studs. They've never caused me problems at all before. And then, um, right, a one by two flat with a ball joint on it. And then the one by three flat. And let's see. How's it supposed to look? Okay, that's what I thought. That's a little weird. So we take this. We take the one by two. I put it on right here. And take this, put it on here. There we go. And the one by three goes on top of everything. There we go. Next step. Oh, we need these big pieces now. We need one of these quarter circles and one of these curved bar? Curved straight? I want to call it curved straight, but I, I know that's completely counterintuitive. Counterintuitive. So it's this one, I think, and I think this one. Looks like it. I can't fucking. There we go. Okay, then the curved piece goes on. Shit. Curved piece goes on the end here. And the. Uh, I don't know. Not corner piece goes on here. I was gonna say, it doesn't look right because it's not on properly. There we go. Very smooth. I don't know what it's supposed to. Oh, that's supposed to be like his leg? I think that's supposed to be his leg. Got a very round leg. Okay, I make one of these flatter corner pieces, but flat, and a stud. So one of these pieces, I guess. Yeah, one of these. And then a stud. And the stud fits into the corner of this corner piece. Or it's supposed to. If studs ever work, Ugh, come on. Is this is what I'm supposed to do, right? Yes, it's totally what I'm supposed to do it. I almost fucking had it too. Cheating again. Cut. There. There we go. There. The corner piece with the stud in it. And it hooks onto the end here. I'm assuming it's the stud that clips on there. I don't like how scuff is. I can just turn. Like, ooh, hey, I don't think your kneecap's supposed to turn like that, Charizard. Ah! <laughs> it came off. I'm sorry, Charizard. I broke his kneecap off. I'm sorry, buddy. Ah, whoops. Station first. That's fair. Um. Ow. I mean, like, we don't have to do Phasmo tonight, and then I don't know. I don't know what we want to do tomorrow. Whether we want to do Phasmo or Grounded or something else, but. 
Uh, well, yuck. But, uh, yeah, the Phasmo, it's, uh, it's tough. It's really fucking hard. <laughs> Rox and I struggle with it for, like, an hour, roughly. Okay, so we need one of these weird pieces and a stud. That would be one of these? Yeah, one of these pieces. Yeah, but Sunny Meadow. Yeah, the Sunny Meadows is, is the cool part. And I hate the fact that I'm actually starting to enjoy Sunny Meadows. And this. So then it's really simple. I just stick this onto here. And then I take this and it goes onto here. Yeah, again, I hate the fact that it's making me not hate Sunny Meadows. Like, I hate it for the fact we don't get cursed items, but don't say that out loud. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? I need one of the, these two pieces. What the fuck are those? Oh, wait, this is that piece, I think. Yeah, this is that piece. And then I need one of those piece. Oh, right here. This piece. And we take this one, and this one goes right here. And this one goes right here. God damn, Charizard, you got some fucking thighs, bud. <laughs> Ooh, we're using one of these weird pieces now. We're using this one. This weird piece. And then, uh... I really don't want to call this, but the stick-to-ball piece. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. So we take this, and they put the weird oval piece on here. And then we shove the stick through this piece of the oval. There we go. God, that's a thick fucking thigh, Charizard. And then... Yeah, there's a thigh, because then it sticks into the foot. So, like, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. So, like, that. That is a thick fucking thigh, my guy. God damn, can you imagine having Charizard thighs for dinner? Hey, it stands. It, oh, <laughs> it stands unless I knock it over like an idiot. No! It popped out! Why'd the foot pop out? There we go. That one actually popped in place. That feels like a proper socket. Now I get to build another thing. It looks like we're literally just building another... The, the other side here. I need one of these weird one by one thing. Yeah, it's, it's the exact same thing, just opposite. Okay, I need a one by two. Delicious thighs. Ooh. They're delicious whether they're on the Pokemon or not. I mean, what? <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm not trying to call myself a man of culture, but like thick thighs are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then I need a one by two orange. One by two, not flat, so not, not that one. Get out of here. This one. And this piece. And it's the same as last time, it's this, this one, no, I'll do the one by two first. Clips on right here. And then this one clips on right here. Ow. I pinched the skin of my finger in that. Then I need stud, ball joint, oh, stud, one by two flat, ball joint, one by three flat. Not the clear stud, stud. 
Hmm. One by two flat ball joint, one by three flat. And then it is the one by two goes on the end here, facing out, facing out. And the stud goes right here. Hit it on right away. Yes, I can. And the one by three goes on right on top. Then we need these two weird pieces again, the corner and the side. We're running out of pieces, right? We're almost done. We got the we got the arms and the head left after the thigh. Um but yeah. Then yeah, the corner goes on the corner. And the side goes on the side properly. There we go. <laughs> then I need uh, a stud and a flat corner. Stud and a flat corner. And then where do these go? Right, right, right. The stud goes into the flat corner. Let's see if I can do this without cheating this time. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, I can't do it without cheating. Okay, I have this one. There we go. And this one sticks on the end here. see the full tray better and then now we went to the next page we're almost done Charizard's thick fucking thighs oh yep yep we got this page and this page is connecting the thighs to the rest of the body god damn he's fucking thick <laughs> and then we get one, another one of these weird pieces in the stud come on there you go there we go So, not this one, right? No, not that one. Not that one at all. Hey, there's multiple of these biohazard pieces. There's two. It might just be the two, actually. I don't know what those are going to be for. Oh, right here. This is the piece I'm looking for. And then a stud? Yeah, and then a stud. No, nope, that's the double-sided stud. I don't know why that exists. This is a regular stud. Cool. And the stud goes on here, on the solid part. Okay. And then the whole thing sticks onto the flat end facing... What? Okay, so the picture has it like, like this. And so this goes on here. Next one, we need these two pieces again. So we just saw this piece. Okay, there's, there's this piece right here. And then we just saw the other piece. Right here, right next to it. And they kind of clip onto the thigh like before. So we take the thigh, we take, whoops, we take the thigh, we take this one, and clip it right there. That's a little off, doesn't it? Oh, it's supposed to look like that, okay. We take this one, and we do it like this, so it's not weird and off. There we go. And then, the next step, we take another one of these oval pieces and the stick and ball piece 
and shove it in there. <laughs> uh, here's this piece, and then here's the stick and ball piece. We take the thigh, pictures like this, and then you take this and put it on the end here, and shove the stick into that first hole. And there's Charizard's second gigantic fucking thigh. And it... I don't want to do that because it might pop on the uh, tray. There we go. We got two gigantic fucking Charizard thighs and we stick these onto the body. Oh no! I broke his ass! I accidentally broke Charizard's ass off. God damn, he's fucking thick as shit. <laughs> Look at that. Those <laughs> some big fucking thighs, Charizard. <laughs> but now we just have the arm and the head left. What's next? Arms, I'm guessing? Oh, arms at- oh, he's got them. You know, compared to his super thick fucking thighs, he's some scrawny little arms. <laughs> Okay, oh, that's what we use the those pieces, the pile has pieces for. <laughs> so we take one of those and we shove the fucking claws into it. So we need two of these stick to stick join pieces, six the claws, two of the bio head pieces, and two of whatever the fuck those are. They look like ball joints to stud pieces. Or I guess female ball joint to stud piece. I don't know what's the actual term. I know that's the term there's three of them. There's, I found a third one. I found a third fucking one. <laughs> oh, I only need two. And then I need one, two, three, four, five, Uh... Uh-oh. Please tell me he's in with the wings. No. It left over one of the bags. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're missing a Charizard claw. Uh-oh. This is underneath something around here. Uh-oh. Did it fall? I don't think it fell. I don't see one down here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, it would appear as though we're missing a Charizard Claw. Ow, I just ripped my ear button on my ear. It's not over here, I put the box. You get the email. Uh, that's weird. Is that one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five. Did we get one extra biohazard piece and one less claw? I think that's exactly what happened.
Unless it is like tucked in here, but I don't think it is. Oh, boy, those are flimsy. I can see why they have the cardboard for support now. They don't smell like anything in particular. <laughs> we can use the VOD as confirmation. <laughs> for the fact that we just don't have the fucking thing. The last claw. That's really weird. And it didn't fall off. I know for a fact it didn't, because I didn't hear anything fall off, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know for a fact. Where's my phone? There's my phone. I think we just don't have the last claw piece. I was like, whoops, sorry, Charles. Is that like in behind my fucking capture card? No. Yeah, we're missing a claw. <laughs> Alright, well, he's gonna be missing a claw. He was injured in battle, so we lost a claw. That's what happened. Let me get the instructions back. That's a little bit annoying. I've actually never had that happen before. I've never had a, a set missing a piece before. In fact, they've usually had extras. So you'd think there'd be like an extra one or two claws in here, but I guess not. Okay, well, all right. That's really weird. Okay. Well, all right. So I can make I can start making the hands at least. So dangerous. <laughs> and then we have this dinky little thing with only two claws on it. Which still looks kind of cool, but the whole little thing here looks pretty scuffed. Here we go. There we go. There's his last claw. <laughs> <laughs> totally, that's what it should look like, right? That's really disappointing. What if it's just something stupid like the last claw is like one of these or just weren't painted white? Like this one. No, it's more of a tail or a point. Probably for like his ears or whatever. Well, all right. One of his hands doesn't have a claw on it. Okay. I still need these. Not that one. These pieces. No, it is this one. One. Two. And then these pieces. One. 
and two. How do these go? Okay, so we take this piece and put one of these in here. And the hand clips on the end here. Charizard hand. There we go. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> poor Charizard. His poor hand. That's so weird. There's supposed to be 12 in here, but there were only 11 claws. Because there were six for his little toesies. And six for. Aw, six for his fingies. But he doesn't have six fingies. He's been horribly maimed. Oh, no. Okay. And then the next step is. Ah. Two of these ball to sticks and two of these connection things. One. Two. And then. Ball to stick. And ball to stick. And then, if I had to guess, it's just. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. This clips into here. And this clips into the hand. And this clips into here. And then this clips into the hand. And then that's Charizard's arms done. Again, he has these massive fucking thighs that could rock a continent. And dinky little arms. Those look like they could be snapped like a twig. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now. To build his head. Oh, he's got a long neck. He's got a long neck. So he needs one of these. Fuck off. One of these one by one ball pieces. Come on. Yeah, then one of those, three of those actually, three of those, one of those two by two ball connections, and then one of those double sided one by threes. Okay, I saw the double sided one by three right here, and then we have one, two, three of these, and then this. And then one of these one by one ball joint pieces. Let's see. You take the one by three. I put this on. Come on. There we go. And then we take the one by one ball piece and put it on there. And then we take these three and we go one, two, 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 come on, two, two, three. It goes like that. A little scuff on the other side. Or just like that. Just don't look at it from the wrong side. <laughs> and then we take three more of these fuckers. Uh, one, two, three. And they clip on the other side of Charizard's neck. One, two, three. Very thick neck. His, his neck is thicker than his goddamn arms. <laughs> and that's his neck. That that is that's his entire neck. Well, 
Where's this last fucking claw? Why is he been maimed so so badly? Why why was this done to him? What kind of monster was like? Hey, you know, what'd be funny. Let's make so Charizard doesn't have. This sounds like a blank song. Make so Charizard doesn't have three claws on both hands. <gasps> Holy shit! I found it. I found the last claw. We're good. I found Charizard's last claw. It was out of the bag. It was out of the tray. I saw it and cho started choking my own spit because I gasped. There we go. His claws are good now. <laughs> Hell yeah, Charizard. Sorry, Rox, we don't need that email anymore. <laughs> Ooh, now we're building his head. <laughs> so we use the stick to ball joining piece. <laughs> and then we use the, oh, the super popular and super common Charizard top of head piece. <laughs> I fucking love this one. It's literally just Charizard's, the top of Charizard's fucking head. And then we shove this in the back of the top of, head, of his head. There we go. You'll never guess what we need next. We need the Charizard bottom of head piece. And everyone's favorite, the tongue. <laughs> then we attach the tongue to the bottom of the head, facing the correct direction. There we go. And then we... Connect the two pieces like so. Rawr. Uh. Rawr. <laughs> and then we need two of these orange spike pieces and two of these one by one stick pieces. Have I seen these? Oh, yeah. Two, and then one, two. And it looks like we just take the one by one stick and shove the little spike right into the end of it. To make that fucker. And we do that again for the other one. Oh, it's pointing at Charizard's head, it knows where it wants to go. And we take Charizard's head and we snap these onto the back here. And then we plop Charizard's head right on top of there. And then we... Ooh, we're not done. We make the tail next. Hell yeah. I was thinking, like, th th there's no way that's it. Someone looks wrong. Yeah, he's, he's missing his ass feature. <laughs> so we need two of these one by two pieces with the studs on the side. One one by two orange, one one by two yellow, and one two by two yellow. One of these. Oh, two of these actually. Two of these. Two of these. And one of these. And one of these. And one of these. Okay, how do these go together? Okay, so we take these together. And then one of these one by two pieces snaps on here. And the other one snaps on here, like that. Get straightened up. And then this piece goes on here. That's Charizard's death. <laughs> well, Charizard looks like Charizard now, thankfully. He's dead. He's ta he's not dead. He's taking a nap. Now we need one of these one by two ball pieces and a two by two orange. One by two ball pieces. One by two ball pieces. One by two ball. One by two ball piece. Where the fuck is the one by two ball piece? 
Oh shit, I'm stupid. It's a 2x2 two two ball piece, not a fucking 1x2 two ball piece. 2x2. Two two. That's why I couldn't find a 1x2 wall piece. It isn't a 1x2 fucking ball piece. I'm just stupid. <sighs> Let me take this. Put the 2x2 two two on here. And the 1x2 two, two on the end here. There. Then we need a 1x2 piece. 1x2 orange, 1x2 ball, and then two of these long pieces. Long coiling pieces. So, one by two ball, uh, one by two, and two of these long curvy pieces. And how do these go on? Take this, and put the one by two ball on the end here, and then the one by two normal on here, and then you connect these two curvy pieces on here. And then for the next one, we need two studs and two of these corner round pieces. So there's one regular stud and another stud. We I do two of these fake studs, at least two of them. They're like the same on both sides. They're like the top of the stud on both sides. Uh, and then I need the two corner pieces. Oh, we get to do my favorite thing of put the fucking stud in the goddamn corner. I love doing this. It's my favorite. I've never struggled with this ever. Ow. Fuck, that hurts. One. Two. Where do these go? They clip onto the sides of the tail. Ah, shit. They clip onto the sides of the tail, like this. They're still starting to come together. Then, for the next step, we need Two of these two by two female ball connection points. Uh, come on, fucking camera. Two of these curved pieces. And then one two by two yellow. So, two two by two female ball joint pieces. This piece and this piece. And then this piece. And then I take the yellow and I put the orange two by one by two on either side. And then I churn it and I put this piece on either side. The round piece on either side. This it's just me this song sounds very Christmassy. And then this snaps onto the end of our current tailpiece. <coughs> then we take the, here, two by one flat, two by one yellow, and two by one double ball joint. Oh, here's a two by one double ball joint. And the two by one flat. What the fuck? Oh, it's my phone charger that's there. Get out of here. Piece of shit. And then the... 2 by one yellow right here. And then we take the yellow, upside down, and we connect the reversible 2 by one double ball joint piece to it. I forgot to mention that that piece was reversible. And then the orange... Two by one flat. 
There we go. And this piece connects to the end. How fucking long is his tail? Jesus Christ, Charizard. Pick a fucking length. Like, the tail is already twice the fucking length of his arm. <laughs> and it's still going. <clears throat> okay, this is the final step of the tail. Oh, uh, what just- was that my wallet? I don't know what that was. And then we take the... Bo female ball joint with the stick on the end and the char- It looks like a Flareon tail, honestly. The Charizard tail piece. So we take this piece. And this piece. And we just connect that. That looks really cool. That looks really fucking cool. I'm gonna point it up. And we snap that on the end of Charizard's tail. And I'm assuming we just snap that on the end of his fat ass, right? Yes, we do. We snap this fucking thing on the end of his ass. Jesus Christ! The tail's as fucking long as he is! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh no, I ripped his fucking... <laughs> I ripped his tail plug out! <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry Charizard! <laughs> I ripped his fucking tail plug out! That's such a long fuck- look at that shit, that tail's so long! <laughs> Holy shit Charizard! Okay, now we're working on his wings. So we need... Male ball joint to the stick, female ball joint to stud thing, whatever the fuck that thing is, the bar, and one wing. Why only one wing? Oh, this is complicated, huh? Ooh, I like this. Specifically, it looks like the left wing. Ah, shit, the instructions just closed on me. I got both wings here. And we want this one. Oh, they're sticking together. Okay, there we go. And we want this wing. Okay. So first, we take the wing and we take the, this really long stick piece, and we. What? Bend this piece in and turn it. Okay, I can't really see what I'm doing. Take this piece. We take this piece, turn it, and lift it up. And then we go ahead and we shove that shit right in there. Oh shit, fuck. What? And that's what we do. We push this in here. We push it up to about the halfway point. Jesus Christ. Whatever the fuck that thing is piece. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then we put the stick in this end cap piece. That's part of his wing. Oh, we do have two. I didn't realize we have two of these pieces. I thought we only had one. Okay. And then we take... It doesn't matter which one of the... They're the same. We take one of these, whatever the fuck this is piece. Look at that. That's no Lego piece I've ever fucking seen. Uh, we take, which piece was that? The, f this one, this piece, and we jab that shit on the end there. And then we take this piece and we take the stick to mail piece. I should have collected all these pieces first. That would have been fucking smart. That's what I usually did for every other fucking step. We connect these pieces together, like so, and I snap this on here, and then we flip this up to latch onto this stick here, and then we, what the fuck is that? We take one regular stud, one of those double stud pieces, 
Female balls want to stick piece on one of these weird curved claws. Lavender Town is not a relaxing song. What? Oh, this is the Let's Go Eevee Lavender Town. Okay. This is the calm Lavender Town theme. Surprise that exists. Take a regular stud. And then one of these weird double studs. And then a female ball joint to stick. And then one of these weird claw looking things. And then we take the double stud. And we put the regular stud on it. What the fuck was the female piece? Oh, okay. And then we take the claw looking thing. We stick that in the end there. To make this phallic looking thing. And we stick that onto the end of here. I'm assuming facing in. Ooh, that looks kind of cool now. Besides the fact it looks like he has a... Yeah, on the end of his wing. And then we take this thing. And we shove this part through the last bit of the wing. And then we stick this right on here. Ah! I bent his wing. He's fine. There we go. <laughs> There's one of Charizard's two wings. <laughs> I've never messed with a rubber in uh, in Lego before. And then I'm assuming we repeat the same process but backwards now, right? What? Oh, I never looked at the bottom of that page. Yeah, we do the exact same thing with backwards now. So I take this piece, the whatever the fuck this is piece. Uh, the male ball joint to stick piece and the female ball joint to stud piece, which is right here. You take this, put the female end on here. Now you take this piece, shove the stick in here. And then you connect these two pieces. And then once again, we Okay. Put it in here and shove that all the way in god this video would be so awful taken out of context and then pop that in there so now we have part of his wing and then we pull this over here slip that on the end there now we proceed the other and we repeat the other step again. Fuck the fucking thing is stuck. Yeah, and then <clears throat> real stud. Fake stud. Female to stick. And claw. I take the fake stud. Put the real stud on it. And then put the claw on the end there. And stick that on the end of his wing. And then slip this loop over the wing bone piece. And then shove that on there. And now Charizard has two whole wings. And now we can actually put the wings on Charizard. Okay, I'll admit that actually does look a little bit cool. <laughs> 
Sure, as you can see his face, that does look kind of cool, honestly. Except for the tail, it's literally as long as he is. <laughs> uh, is there anything else to do now? Yes, there is. There is one final step. Step 72. We... Take one of the fire pieces, and then we take, this is going to blow you guys' mind, the other fire piece, <laughs> and then we take one of these C3 pieces, and then we take the fire piece, and we stick the other fire piece onto it, and then we put the stud right here, on the first fire piece, and then if we force his jaw open, we should be able to stick this right in here in his mouth. So now he's breathing fire. Hell yeah, there's Charizard. And that is Charizard complete. That's the last step. That's Charizard. <laughs> Ooh, there's a bunch here. Look at this shit, they got... I'm gonna try this out of the way now. They got Surfetch and Luxio and P Pikachu and Saw. I almost said Pichu. They got a cool Bulbasaur with vines on him? That's pretty cool. Here, I'll bring it close so you guys can see. Come on. Camera. Camera. There, there's Pikachu and Saw, and there's Bulbasaur, and there's a giant birthday Pikachu? Which is cool. And then we got the Zig Galarian, Zigzagoon, and Machop. And then the Charizard we just did. Then you got Pikachu, Squirtle, Magikarp, Togepi, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. And then, what is that? Oshawott, Tepig, Snivy, Krabby, Zubat, and who the fuck is that? Who is that? I don't fucking know who that's supposed to be. That the brown thing there next to between Snivy and Oshawott. Is that the dog from Gen 5? I can't remember what it's called. I almost want to say Eevee, but I know that's sacrilege to actual Eevee, because that's not what Eevee looks. Eevee's face is darker brown. That's that dog. Uh, herdier or whatever it evolves from. Uh, because the final edition is Stoutland. And then Stoutland evolves from Herdier. And it's the final evolution of Lillipop. It's Lillipop. And then, yeah, I guess we get, uh, we get the Heavy Ball. There's a Heavy Ball. We can just put that right in his hand. Oh, it doesn't fit. Lillipop, yeah. And we have a few uh, leftover pieces. No claw surprise. And we have a leftover tongue. Those are all leftover. I'll probably put those in a Ziploc bag. Here. There we go. Now it's on his head. He looks like a mushroom now. He got a little mushroom cap. <laughs> uh, yeah, there. <laughs> cool, that's Charizard. Anyway. <laughs> I forgot it's upside down. I forgot it's upside down. Uh, where's, uh, where, tr tr transform, uh, flip vertical. That's better. <laughs> um, I don't have a chair in here, so I was gonna put Charizard up top, but I guess for now. Charizard can go over here. Hey, Bella. It's Bella. Hey, big girl. Hi, kitty cat. Oh, ow, my legs. Charizard can go. Oh, fuck. He's not standing correctly. Charizard can go right there.
That was actually a lot of fun. I forgot how much fun Lego is to, to build. Oh. jaw hurts for some reason. No clue why. I guess I never showed this off. I have this mug that I got years ago from the Royal... It's backwards. Uh, transform. The Royal Tyrell Museum in uh, Alberta. Because my dad and I went there years ago. We went on just like a father-son trip. And, um... Yeah, it was... It was cool. I, I like the museum. But, uh, yeah, I got a really cool mug. I got a sweater there. I don't know where it is now. But, yeah, I got a, I got a blue one. And my dad got a red one. And my mom got a green... And we got my mom a green one. I think dad's is still okay. Mine is intact. I think mom's... Her hand... The handle broke. Unfortunate. Oh, hey, it's Evie. You can see Evie up there. There's Evie. Another thing from my nephew's room that he didn't want. So I was like, I'll take it. Can we actually see anything else up there? Oh, you can see Iron Man. I just put Iron Man up there the other day. <laughs> um, nothing else that I've added recently. I got my lava lamp that you can't really see because it's just glowing. <laughs> but it is lava lamping. Just very brightly. <laughs> uh, I got the Pikachu cookies I got the other day. Some uh, stuff I got when... Oh yeah, my parents, when we first got the Xbox One, we got... No, it was a, few, it was a couple years after we got the Xbox One. Uh, we got Fallout 4 for Xbox One. And uh, they also bought a guidebook to go with They bought it for me for Christmas. And they bought a guidebook to go with it. And uh, that was in the guidebook. It is like all the special cards. So that's really cool. Uh, but yeah. Um, I don't really know what to do now. <laughs> uh, Stern mentioned Phasmo, but I don't know if he meant for tonight or for tomorrow. He said he has to go to the gas station first, so I'm assuming he means for tonight, but... Yeah. Did I ever... I don't know if I ever showed these off. I don't know if I ever showed these off. I can show these off. I mean, either? Okay. Um, so, in town, we have a craft fair every year. And, like, we sell, like, soaps. Or people sell soaps and stuff. And I found these. It was, like... I think, like, five bucks for four. They are... It was, like, pins... But they're all fucking amazing. I got my three favorite Generation 1 Pokemon. I got the Vaporeon, which you can't see because it's really bright. And it still can't. Oh, there we go. I got the Vaporeon because I love Vaporeon. It's my third favorite Gen, Gen 1 Pokemon. Then I got my second favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. I got the Moo. I got the Moo. He's so cute. I love Moo so much. I hold it right here. You can see it. Really fine in the middle. I got the Moo. And then I got the Raichu, which is my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon and my favorite Pokemon overall. And because it was like five bucks for four, and I didn't know what other Gen 1 Pokemon I wanted, those are like the three that I really care about. I was like, you know what, they have Zelda ones. So I got myself, it's backwards again, you can't read it, but I got myself, I got, I got, camera. Camera. C camera. It's the Triforce of Courage. It is specifically the Triforce of Courage. Camera. Focus on that. There we go, the Triforce of Courage. Again, it is backwards, but it's the Triforce of Courage. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I've ever showed those off. And I've never actually put them up. They're in just in a Ziploc bag on my desk. And I've had them for a 
a year or two now, I think. A couple years, I think. And they're so nice. They're so nice. Whew. Uh, but yeah, Rox, if we did more Phasmo tonight, would you be down or do you have to work in the morning? and stuff together for the uh but from the charizard did anything fall yeah a couple bags fell oh they canceled work tomorrow okay yeah if you guys are down i'd be down to continue tonight to find get you and hopefully also stern that five thousand I fucking drank tea. I drank chai. Why am I yawning? I'm not tired. I swear I'm not tired. My, my mouth thinks I'm tired, but I'm not tired. Okay, let's my computer back over. And tea break? Yeah, I'll probably get some more tea. And then... Yeah, if you want to let Stern know that we're going to be doing it, then he can join in too. And yeah, I'm going to go for a uh, tea break. So I will be... Back in a minute.
All right, there we go. I am back, and I have some more tea. And Streamlabs is back on the correct side. Turn this on, set it back to... Set it back to... White. There we go. Um, And let's get... That's the wrong one. Let's get Phasmo opening. <coughs> Play Phasmo. As much as I want to be able to launch Phasmo in VR, I cannot. And I have to be booting up so I can swap over to this. And that should pop up there. There we go. Just looking now. All right, sounds good. I just saw that stern. I just booted up the game too. I can pause the music. As much as I love the soothing Pokemon music, which is always, almost always good. <laughs> there's a couple mess songs in there, but there's some really good songs. Uh, not even just like calm songs, like some battle music, even in the newer games. Like the Ogre Pond theme, the Ogre Pond battle theme and the Terrapagos battle theme. Whew, so good. <laughs> the Terrapagos battle theme especially. That song is so fucking good. <laughs> Ow, my hand is stuck. The Ogre Pond one is good, but the Terrapagos one is fantastic. And then... Oh, yeah, thanks, Discord. I know I'm muted. And then I guess... For Diamond Turtle. I know. Uh, it's got really cool stats. But unless you tear it, it's kind of meh. But its song is so good. It's like my favorite song from the Pokemon franchise now. <coughs> uh, private for Create Lobby. And go ahead and grab that invite code. And then... Oh, it's a pretty meh invite code again. Nothing special. Not like that 888 again, unfortunately. Man, I'm so close. I'm under 200 points away from level 82 when I get the, the cool headgear, which I'm so excited about. That's like the main thing I'm waiting on for uh, Apocalypse. Was it 69, 68 in the middle? I used it once and then kind of forgot. Hey Stern, how's it going? This game, I never get audio. Oh shit! It did have 69, 68 in the middle. You're right. You're just fucking around. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Rox, is your computer fucking around enough that uh, I can enter the thing with Stern and uh, and see if we can get his audio fixed? He's gonna love this. Oh, he's gonna love this. Or do you, do you want me to to wait for you so you can be here too? Probably. <coughs> All right. A black screen blowing circle. All right, yeah, we'll we'll join in, see if we can get his audio fixed, and then yeah. This vast asylum holds more than just cobwebs and debris. Some say you can still hear the screams. Man, insane asylums are probably fucking terrifying. They're not very cool. <laughs> All right, can you hear me now, Stern? Yo. Yeah. Okay, cool. Did Rox tell you about uh, our strategy? No. Okay, well, I saw you go the, for the parabolic right away. But yeah, uh, this is all we have. 
So the best way to uh, figure out where the ghost is, I found, is to use the parabolic and look for breath, as long as it's not snowing. If it's snowing, then we basically just restart right away. Because if it's snowing, you can see your breath everywhere, and that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, also power is broken. Okay. And you're going to want a, a flashlight, because this headgear doesn't have a flashlight on it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay. Is it snowing? No, it's just foggy. Good. Okay. Were you just talking just now, Stern? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's for good luck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we actually see breath and hear stuff until the five minute mark, but yeah. Never mind, we I heard stuff. It's downstairs. That's the same roomster. Stern over here. The ghost is over here. Is downstairs. Oh, that's downstairs. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's the power box sparking because it's broken. There is no power. <laughs> Yeah, and it was in this direction somewhere. Not in here. You don't think you hear him on stream? Oh, he might be turned down really low. Yeah, I have desktop water turned down really low. That's probably it. Hey, Stern, can you say something? Yo, what up? Did you hear that? It might be because of the parabolic as well. Yeah, the parabolic makes him a little quieter, and then I had yeah, yeah, then I had desktop auto turned on a bit. So yeah, it's in one of these rooms somewhere, or maybe in the hallway. Just keep an eye out for breath. Oh, I hear it. It's like right around here, I think. One of these rooms. Oh, this room. Where are you? Let me get this for you. There, now your sanity will drain How old slower. Are you? Wow, we actually got one of the enclosed rooms. That's surprising. Did I? Oh no, it's right here. Okay, um... Alright, that's that's fair. I'll bring down another candle uh, in a little bit. Grab that and grab... Oh, I saw the parabola on me. I don't need that anymore. Don't let it too much just in case it ends up being an Onryo. I, actually, I don't think you even have matches on you. No, I do not. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'll, be I'll be there in just a sec. But uh, no sign of spirit box, right? Okay. Okay, so that's probably a no for the spirit box. Wait, 
Is this room? Nope, next room. Yeah, here we are. I wish I could put it like on the ceiling, but I can't reach up there. That actually gets the entire room, that's fine. I have, I have dots and book down here, so. That's basically all the ev evidence we're gonna get down here. Immediate book writing. Okay. How old are you? How old are you? Yeah, I'm not getting uh, that. I'm gonna go grab another uh, set of candles. Uh, if you're heading back to the truck, do you want to take a look at my, uh, my camera for dots? It might... Oh, never mind. I can't be a, a Gorio with, uh, with ghost writing. Never mind. Don't have to root my camera then. <laughs> I get on a thought. I'm like, wait, I should fact check myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Eight, nine. Will dots not, or not dots, uh, ghost orb not be a, uh... Right, I completely forgot about that, Gorbs, yes. I will go stand in the doorway for Gorbs. Or in the room, I mean. Alright, I'm here. I like, to look, look, like this stuff actually, so I lose less sanity. Or as I can tell you, good. No gorbs. Not that I can see. Damn. Okay. All right. That'll probably be. Uh, I want to blow it myself. Unless the honor is, unless the ghost is blown up right now. Yes, okay. Oh, honor is not even a, a, unless, no, honor is not even a choice anymore. Okay. I don't have to worry about honor then. That's cool. Did I go too far? No, I didn't. We're good. I can turn my flashlight on. I can do that. <laughs> Uh, this is so fucking heavy. Right? <laughs> hmm. It's not an Onryo. It could be a shade. Probably not a demon. Oh, we've lost like no sanity at all there. That's cool. What does Shade need? Nothing that we can get. So it's probably not Ghost Orb, so I can cross that out. That takes out Thay and Revenant. Take a look at Stern's camera. Myling? Oh yeah, what does Myling do? Myling, Myling. I'm gonna be quieter when- Ugh, oh, shit. Myling's tough. The main reason I'm thinking Shade is because it hasn't done anything while we're in the room. It did, uh, writing, but I, I'd stepped out of the room, I think. I forgot to tell you, but Sanity Drain is highly reduced. You're still at like 88. That's way 
way higher than I thought it would be at. Right? Yeah. Uh, I think that one of the uh, one of these isn't very that important, honestly. Maybe one of these actually, so that we can hear if it's doing stuff. Yeah, I'll do that. And I guess I'll bring that emotion sensor. Why not? Uh, I'm pretty comfortable saying shade, but I'm gonna put a motion sensor and a sound sensor down there just in case, so we can uh, hear and hear and see if the ghost is doing anything. <laughs> I still hear the spirit box going. But it could also be luck that we had just haven't found anything yet. Cause like, oh, that's not it. It's been messing with the door a bit, but never when we're in the room. Come on. Fine, I'll put it, put it here then. I don't like that, but. And turn that off. Mm, it didn't mess with the door right here. And they don't usually do that. I was kind of hoping that would mess with the other uh, thing. There's not a whole lot of stuff in there for it to throw. Is there stuff out here that I can put in there for it to throw? A little bit. You mind since you heard it right away? True, I did hear it right away. Like, that was instant that I heard it. Oh. I'm just gonna take this. Goodbye. Is that a shank? I picked up a fucking shank. Rox is thinking maybe Myling since I heard it right away, but... I'm not a harm sensor. Cause I heard it twice on the way to it. Uh, also, that entire time I was down there, I didn't see dots. I would be willing to say my leg over shade for sure. Okay, yeah, because like while I was in there, it was setting off the motion sensor a lot, so it was moving around. And it's not hunting enough to be a demon. No, no. If if, if it were, I'm pretty sure demon doesn't have a uh, a hunt restriction, like in terms of sanity. So it would hunt as soon as we went in there, possibly. So. And, uh, well, I mean, I didn't see dots, you didn't see dots, I tried getting it to talk the whole time. Yeah, it's not, it's and, not uh, spirit box, it's not dots, it's not ghost orbs, I'm pretty sure. As far as I could tell, as when I was looking, I didn't see ghost orbs, so all we really have is ghost writing. Yeah, I, I was looking while you were down there, I didn't see any gorbs either, so I... Yeah, I'm good with and Miling or Shade. Maybe phrasing temps, but we don't have a way to actually <laughs> know, so yeah. I, I'm willing to go with Miling. Okay, alright. Cool. You got that circled? Yes. Alright, whoops, wrong button. It doesn't seem any more active now than it was before, so yeah. It, yeah, you're right, it's almost definitely a Miling. If it's not a Myling, I'm going to be very upset. It was a Myling. You were right, Rox. And you were right too, Stern. I would have been wrong. Well, why? Because I, I was thinking shit. Oh. Head, I got I got level 3 headgear. Fuck yeah. Now I'm sad I wasn't in there. Because I know, right? Third. Right, yeah. Well, hopefully the next How one's going to be just I as good. I be able to identify a ghost like that. <laughs> Yeah, you figured out from literally just knowing that we heard it immediately. 
So, minor problem, we do only get two parabolics. <laughs> That's okay. Woo! That yeah. means someone can just be the hands guy that carries everything else. True. So. True. <laughs> It'd be cool if we got a third parabolic, but... Hmm. Come on, little computer that can. She she was able to do it earlier. So I I, I believe this time too. Oh, she made it. There we go. I like this one because because usually I, I sanity. Don't mind being the hands guy. It's okay. All good. But yeah, it's funny because usually sanity below twenty five percent is easy, but with how slow sanity drains here. <laughs> it's parabolic. I got the ghost and the dots. Okay, I'm grabbing a a a, a light. Oh yeah, grab a camera as well. All right, let's uh. Let's go find us a goddamn ghost. Let's go some ghosts to bust. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh yeah, and I, I think I forgot to mention it, but no cursed items. Oh wait, good luck. There we go. Man, I thought that was talking right away. Yeah, but who knows? I got whispering. Okay, what well, come to you? It was it on the on your floor or was it down? Right, right, right around here. Standing here, and I got a shit ton of whispering facing in this direction. Did you see? Was it on this floor or below? It looked like it might have been below because I had a down arrow. Okay, it's on. It's down below then. All right. Man, I fucking love parabolic. It's so useful here. <laughs> And it was... Stern, it was this way, I think. I got a bunch of whispering this way. Why can't they all be push or pull? It, it, just choose one. I don't fucking know. They're way quieter than usual. I'm gonna turn it off a bit. Oh, that's not even the worst one. Oh, I know. <laughs> there we go. Oh. oh, there's still organs in that one. Yeah, it's it's gross. It's real gross. Oh, oh. I heard him back here, this way. Oh my god. In like one of these rooms, I think. Maybe this one. I don't know. I heard it. I'll stay a bit longer. I heard it for a split second, and then I saw the circle around here. Do we know if it's been five minutes yet? Definitely not. We probably got about a minute left. Damn. Okay. Oh, those are your footsteps. Yeah, keep right happening like right on the door frame at the time. So I'm wondering if it's like hallway, maybe. Could be. Yeah, it's either hallway or it's like one of these rooms. I was trapped in a room with rats. A room. Shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> I hear rats make them crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing with someone once and he started saying that he wouldn't fucking stop. I had to get mad at him like, shut the fuck up, someone. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any breath anywhere yet. I'm gonna go check clock. I'm gonna head to Van and check clock. Okay, and then maybe it's upstairs or something instead. I, I don't know. It seemed like it was downstairs. We have 53 seconds left. Okay, we're good. That's that's uh that's grace period over. I'm coming back down now. That's for them turned up too. Rooms. I, 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 this room felt like it was too close. Have you guys seen any breath yet? Not yet. Damn, okay. over there somewhere then, huh? I think so. Okay. And it didn't have an arrow on it? No. Okay. Okay. I'm not getting breath in here. Hope it's not in the glorping room. I didn't see my breath in there. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like it. it keeps happening in the same area. I'm wondering if it's in that church area. Because that's what's right above those two rooms where it keeps happening. Alright. Well, if I can hear it for long enough, I can I can find out. And this is like pretty much the last room on this side. And nothing. Yeah, all that's left is the stairwell.
I heard something thrown upstairs. Thrown or was it a clunk? It was it was a throw. It sounded like a metal clunk. Like you threw like a wrench or something. I heard whispering again. It was in one of these rooms. Here's something thrown again. It's in he one of these two rooms. Upstairs, uh, I think I found the room. I don't see my breath, but an alarm went off in here. Oh, there you are. I'm getting stuff thrown in here still. But I don't see my breath, though. Oh, they, now I do. I mean, it just might not be cold. No, I, 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 yeah, I just saw my breath. And the butt. And it's relatively close to the exit too. Ooh. We got an old person. No, ring it on the in for good luck, ring it on the out for... Ring it on the in for good luck, ring it on the out for, I guess, bad luck? I don't know. Candles blown. Alright, sounds good. I'll bring a second one in. If you're in the van, don't forget to check our heads. Right, I'll do that right now. I got nothing from Stern's view. I'm gonna check Rox's view. We got ghost riding. Ooh, okay. I'm not seeing any gorbs from you guys' view. Stern, could you look at the door? No, I'm not seeing any gorbs. But still, uh, Spirit Box and Ghost Ring, that's pretty good evidence. We got two at least, so far. If we get dots, it's yeah, a Diogen. True. Good luck for, good luck for Diogen. Well, if we give Ghost Ring, I don't need the second candle then, but still. Okay. So I guess the only reason left to stay in here would be to look for, uh, hope for dots. Yeah, did you see any dots on our head cams? Uh, no. I wasn't really looking, but I didn't see any, no. It is entirely possible, it's just not, uh, dots, but... Hmm. I did. Um. That is always a possibility. Pulty, pulty. Sure, I just wish all these books could be put in a pulty pile, but no. Where is. Where's what? Uh. Yeah. So if yeah. we throw like two things in here and it doesn't throw anything, 
here. We should be good. It starts throwing. We gotta take the books apart. Oh shit! Did that book just get thrown, or did one of you toss it in here? Uh, I put a couple books in here, but I think Stern came in and grabbed the one that got thrown. So I don't know. Okay. Well, if it throws multiple things at once, then it's guaranteed a, a poltergeist. I think it's like uh, poltergeist can throw like up oh, to like five yeah. things at once. Something just got thrown again. Oh no, I didn't. Just remember, all all ghosts can throw stuff, it's but poltergeist can throw a bunch. Here. The blue one. The blue one? Yeah, up top. It's the one that I'm Up throwing, top? I, I, I can't pick that one up. Oh, that, that one. Okay, I found there. the blue one. But it seemed like there was no activity besides the alarm clock, and now it's tossing things. Oh, well, that was yeah. two books that moved at once. I'm going to spin them apart a little bit, so that way they don't get caught in each other. Well, that's the point of the pile. It, it can't throw any of them if it can only throw one. It can move the whole pile True. if it can throw multiple. I was just thinking, if it throws multiple, then... Oh yeah, I guess that's true, well, okay. To, now that it's throwing things, we can go check on our sanity. That's true, yeah. I'm, I'll go do that. Should we all go? Or do you want me to stay and watch the throw and ink? Uh, I don't think it matters too hardly much. Considering I think I went the wrong way. Oof, yeah, when you leave the room, you turn left. Our sanity is around 60-ish, which is shockingly low for how long we've been in there, so maybe Poltergeist? Unless we did spend longer than we thought we did. It takes a while to find the room, so it's possible we were in there for a while. We weren't in there for that long, were we? We were still downstairs when you came to do the countdown clock. True, yeah. We were in there for about five or so minutes, yeah. Oh, Stern's here, okay. Um, okay, what else do we have? Spirit, Poltergeist, yeah, Mare, yes. Moroi, and Diogen. Okay, I'm assuming we have no dots. We saw no dots. That so would that be gets... no Diogen. Getting rid of Gorbs means yep. not Mare. I was gonna say no gorbs is no mare, so we have spirit poltergeist Morii. Yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mor Morii is one of the target ones, so I don't think it's a Morii. Yeah, I because like all our all our sanity is pretty even. I came out of the trap a couple times, so my sanity is slightly higher, which I makes was sense. Gonna say. There's no one who's extremely low, so it's probably not a Moria. Yeah, I'm gonna head and go check for uh, Pulty stuff. We also had the candles up for a little bit, didn't we? So that should have decreased sanity drain. For at least a little bit. If you guys want to check my camera for dots, go uh, gorbs. Go ahead. So you're in the room now. I'm just outside the room. Okay. Once you enter the room, let me know if you see any books get tossed. I'm watching your sanity to see how much it drops. I'm. I saw a couple books get tossed, but nothing like at the same time. Uh, 
that feels pretty normal, I think, but we'll see. Actually, no, none of that. Natural sanity drain. Or do this and let it blow it out. Alright, I'm standing in the room keeping an eye on stuff. Right, okay. Sorry, what you got cut off at the end there? Ghost activity was a seven. Now it's a one. All right. Uh, it's throwing a bunch of stuff, but like there is also a bunch of stuff in here to throw. So should we now take all of the throwables out of the room, and we'll see if ghost activity completely stops? Because that would be making it powerless if it's a poltergeist. It's not an awful idea, I think. But I did just hear something get thrown in another room, so it's probably wandering a bit. So I don't know if it'll... We'd have to clear, like, this whole area. Like, all the like the adjacent rooms and stuff. Ugh, that sounds like too much work. Right. How old are you? You're at 50. Oh, right, no, we already had Spirit Box. I got so excited for something, like, oh my god, we got Spirit Box, we already had Spirit Box. I kind of wish we had sanity meds for this, but whatever. As soon as you stepped out of that room, the ghost activity went to zero, and the second you stepped back into it, it went back up to one. So it might be a spirit then? That's kind of what I'm thinking. The longer you're in there, the higher the activity rate gets. I am out of matches on this box. <laughs> yeah, that would explain why it's not throwing like a whole bunch of stuff at once, so it might be spirit. Cause I don't think it's Moroi. See, and you just stepped out of the room again, right? Cause it dropped to zero. Okay, yeah, I just stepped out of the room. I'm, I'm good going with uh, with spirit if you guys are. Yeah, I have my money on spirit. I think. All right, what about you, Stern? Alright, so spirit is yeah, then. Definitely not throwing enough. Definitely didn't drain energy enough. So yeah, I'd go with spirit. Okay. You guys all have it circled? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, let's hope you get it, Rox, and this will be your third. Woo! Sleepy cat. Alright, let's see. Hell yeah. So that should be your third oh, box. Yeah. And that's your second stern. So we only need <laughs> one more for stern. <laughs> and we can go back to playing like normal people. This. <laughs> right? <laughs> now we just gotta wait yep. the hundred years for all of that XP to go through. <laughs> you could just click skip if you want, but... There's, oh fuck, I didn't realize there was a skip button. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's I'm a skip button. I'm always just mashing next, <laughs> waiting for it to let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I don't look at the left side of the screen. <laughs> left is for back. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> well, no, left. Uh... <laughs> there we go. All right, let's let's go. Good luck. Same to same to both of you. Ooh, it's sunny out. I love when it's sunny out. The only problem is you can really see that it looks not the best over there. <laughs> you can tell that they that they didn't need as much effort over there when it's sunny. Oh wait, good luck. There we go. I hear whispering already. From this room, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's a room right next to it. It was definitely on this floor. There is not a room beside it. I'm pretty sure it's just that room then. Could be this. Uh, no, no, it, no, it's, it's in this room. Or it's in this room. It's in one of these two rooms. No, it's not stairs. Is that? Yeah, it's in one of these two rooms. Either this room or the one next to it. Nope, that's stairs. It's in this one, probably. Yeah, it's throwing stuff in here, I think. Just remember, it's, it's within right five minutes, so we might get anything. I got in the book. God, we still have three fucking minutes left. Toss the book. Hmm. Not seeing my breath at all. Did you see yours? It is with it is within the first five minutes, so we're not probably not gonna see anything yet. Okay. You write in the book, please. What if I might there it is? Okay, no, it's definitely in, in either that room or this foyer here. One of these two rooms. Foyer. Or like okay. th this uh, reception room yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, then once the five minutes is up, we can check for breath to get like an accurate spot of where it is. Oh, we I got motion hear the sensor. Ghost whisper. I was Maybe. gonna say I haven't heard the ghost once. Oh weird, yeah, I've heard it twice. We got motion sensor, so it's at least around that room. And we got noise in the waiting room. Oh you put a sound sensor in there. Cool, okay. Yeah. Nice. It'll bounce between two and fifteen. Okay. I'm gonna put the other uh, firelight in there just for, just to be safe. Man, this would be so much better if we had the fucking level three dots. It'd be so nice. I mean, like, I don't hate the level two dots. It just the level three covers so much more room. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 
Okay, well, get Ooh. my camera. I'll go in there. What camera were you? Uh, one of them. We still have 30 seconds, so you might not see Gorbs till then. That's you, that's him. That's him. He's 10. I'm 9. Okay. Oh, that Gorbs. Immediate Gorbs as soon as you stepped in. Oh, yep. Gorb. Well, that's cool. Unfortunately, the radio didn't pick you up there. What was that? Where is it, Gorbs? Right in front of you. Right in front of your face. <coughs> You've passed him now. now walk past the Gorbs. That's a oh. They're like right in front of the door. Yeah, like right around there. Maybe a little closer to you. But in that general area. All right, the uh, the time, the uh, wind up whatever time is done, so we can start looking for like more evidence now too. Someone with the box. I think we have a spirit box in there already. For good luck. Write in the book. Can you write in one of the books, please? Write in one of the books. Put the other one around here somewhere. How old are you? Write in the book, please. Got some lights up so we don't go insane. Oh, I see my breath now. Okay, cool. Yeah. That was crazy how fast we got that. Leave? It's Are throwing stuff. Are you a girl? Can I bolt us off the uh. Hey there, ghost. Hi. How are you doing? How it old are you? To everyone, so I'm just gonna throw it. Oh, dots, dots behind stir. Oh, it just. Oh disappeared. yeah, definitely dots. Okay. And it blew out candles twice. Oh, so it did. Uh, Onrio is not on the table, so that's cool. Okay. Um, are by any chance? No dots. Are not mimic. Cool, good. <clears throat> um. How loud is your whispering? Cause Banshee's on the table. I'm checking that now. Okay. It was the normal whisper. I haven't heard any Banshee screams yet, but I'll I'll take a listen. Here with me. Oh, Never mind. I'm taking one of the candles out of the room with me. <laughs> Heard it again, still regular whispering. It is very vocal though. It's ta it's doing it a lot. More whispering. Oh, Rox is using the spirit box a bit. Do you think it might be a yokai? Oh, gotcha. Okay, so probably not a yokai then. That's like the fifth time and I haven't heard any banshee screaming yet. Yeah.
What's my sanity at right now? Okay, yeah, that's the sixth time I heard it, and there wasn't any screeching. It's only like a one in three chance, so I'm assuming it's not a banshee. That leaves us with uh, Raiju, Yuri, and Thay. I don't think it's a Raiju. You don't think so? I think with me leaving a spirit box running in there and it being at like zero activity practically the whole time, it should be starting to get agitated. Right, the spirit box is on, both the dots are on. Yeah. yeah. So that leaves us Yuri and Thay. Uh, it hasn't... We haven't ruled out ghost riding. If we rule out ghost riding, we only have the Yuri left. Right, okay. Um... But, sir, did you just say you don't think it's the Yuri? No. Not based off its entry. Right, yeah, Yuri's affect sanity more. So mm -hmm. we might have a say on our hands? Maybe, I'm gonna go in there and anything? check. It has been a pretty short amount of time so far, but yeah. Where about the other book? Here it is. No, that's newspaper. I don't think it's ghost writing it through one of the books. And it, uh, from, from what I know, uh, the check for Writing in the book happens before the check for throwing it, so I think we can rule out ghost writing. But that would mean it's a Yure and none of our sanity is super affected. Yeah. So unless Banshee or Ra Raiju are wrong, it's, unless it's a Banshee or a Raiju or a Yokai, but. Yeah, and then it depends, like, how much of a difference do you think the low sanity drain will make on a sanity affecting ghost? To be fair, I was standing right next to the candle for a lot, so that halved my sanity drain. I was just saying, I was also beside a candle doing the spirit box. Yeah. And there's just... There's too much activity for a say. It has been pretty short, because like, I, I know Thay is really active in the beginning, but it never did any ghost events. No. And usually Thay's start with ghost events and then slow down as, as it goes, Stop licking my foot, cat! <laughs> <laughs> so Banshee, Yuri, Raiju. So, what's... What's so special about the Banshee besides she screaming? Um, it hasn't sang for us. Singles yet. out. It, it singles out a target, but when none of us are low enough sanity for a hunt. I can go in and continue listening through a, uh, a parabolic, but. We're all around the same sanity, too, so it's yeah. not like it's targeting one of us. I'm gonna go back in without a firelight and see if maybe my, my sanity starts dropping faster. Okay. Hi, Bella. Ghost, can you hear me? Can, are you gonna do something? Ghost? But shades out of the question, though. Yeah, but what's the reason for it? Let me take a look. I don't know. It is throwing a little bit of stuff, but. Yeah, it's still throwing stuff when I'm in here.
with my parabolic on as well, so that's causing electricity. I think the motion sensor is also electrical. Yeah, so I just heard the uh, whispering for the eighth time and still no screaming. So I, it, I, I'm just, I'm taking Banshee completely out of the question now. That's not dropping very fast at all. So it's not one of the ones that affect our sanity, unless it's not me that it's targeting. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. And the firelights are off, so yeah. So we do have a slight problem. When I went in with the parabolic, we got noises from downstairs. Really? Because I'm getting a whole bunch of noises from right here. And it's tripping the motion sensor and stuff, and throwing stuff, and moving the door. And I see breaths. Were you looking in the direction of this room, though? Because it'll give you sounds from different floors. Weird. That's really weird. I'm gonna go down and see if I hear anything, man. This book is going for a while. <laughs> Can you write in the book, please? Can you write in the book, please? So yeah, after this much time, uh, and with no ghost writing, it, there's way too much activity for it to be a thay, I think. That only leaves us with Raiju, Yokai, and Yurei. And it's not... What was it, a Yokai? Because we're talking... Well, we are talking a lot, it's throwing stuff around. I'll try being quiet for a bit. Hello, ghost. Can you hear me? Are you going to throw more stuff now that I'm talking again? I stopped talking for a bit, and there were no dots, and it threw one of our writing books, but that's it. And now that I'm talking, and it, like, touched a door, and I saw dots, and so I don't know. Could be a yokai, but yeah. I'm thinking either Yokai or Raiju. It's Yokai, right? Yokai? Unless that whole talking thing only applies to hunts. I'm not 100% sure. 
sure if we cross off spirit box, because I'm pretty sure we're not getting that. Yokai is not an option anymore. Okay, so probably not Yokai. So it's, it's probably Raiju. I do not like Raiju at all. No, me neither, but nothing like else is fitting. Of the options. None of none of the options we have left feel like they fit the uh, the ghost. I gotta pick one. I'd rather take my chance with Yuri, but it's not like I need to. I'm just gonna put all our all our electric stuff in there to see if that changes anything. It seems to be active. Yeah. The cameras don't count, but I have like all, our most sensors in there and our cameras. Not cameras, our uh, uh, flashlights and stuff, and yeah. According to the wiki, the talking near yokai only increases the chance of a hunt. That's it. Yeah, it hasn't hunted, though. No, it hasn't. What's our sanity like, though? You're at 54. That's hunt range. Hello, ghost? Yeah, it is. And I just, I mean... Canst thou hear me? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Did we ever end up with ghost writing? How old are you? No, I said it's probably not ghost writing. How old are you? How old are you? Yeah, I did one of those uh, floating ball of mist things to lower my sanity. Yeah, you're at 41 now. Yeah. Yeah, Which I don't know. It's a huge drop. Yeah, but you, those always drop 10%, I think. What was I at before? Yeah, 51. 51. 51. Okay, yeah, that's that's about normal. So we have all our electronics in there, and there's no significant increase in... Not. Nah. I mean, it looks like it's gone from its average baseline being one to its average baseline being three when it's active. But we have so much or in is there. Is that though. incorrect, Stern? Now it's six. Now it's four. Uh, wait, I was at fifty-one before. Yeah. The sanity decrease is pretty low, so maybe I am being targeted. Maybe it is a yure.
nine. Because I that's the only one of those sanity dropping events that I got. And I was at 50, and we've seen how slow the sanity drops with this map. Yeah. So I'm... I feel kind of alright going here, eh? Unless you guys are still on the fence. I mean, we can all vote differently, right? You and I have both achieved it, so it only matters... As long as Stern gets it, yeah. I've been kind of on the year thing from the beginning. Yeah, and I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm I think that's our best. Because it's... I'm... I was at 50 before it did that thing, and it hasn't hunted, and I was talking a lot. And it's... Because I liked Yokai, but the problem is, like Rock said, we don't have spirit box, and with the amount of time... I was walking around a whole lot with spirit box yeah. just then, and nothing, so it's not... I'm but, sure it's not spirit box. That leaves Yurei or Raiju, yeah. and we I... don't We don't have ghost riding, so I got Banshee... Yuri or Raiju. Yeah, I'm not confident and in Banshee. I, me neither. We but all went in with the Parabolic. Nobody heard shrieking. I literally heard it like nine times and there was no Banshee shrieking. So it's not... It, it can't... I refuse to believe that it's Banshee. And... The, yeah, it's it's Banshee no way in hell it's a Raiju. I don't know. The, the, the activity isn't like consistently high enough to be a Raiju. So I'm good going, Yuri, if you guys are. Yep. Yep. All right, you guys got a circle already? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's see if this is your final, Stern. Hey, it was a Yuri. There we go. We're that... professional fucking <laughs> ghost hunters, baby. And that should Let's be go. all three for you, Stern. Fuck yeah, baby. That's 5,000. Give me that XP, baby. New motion sensors, except... Now, I want I want to go to the fucking shop and spend 10,000 goddamn dollars on this new fucking headgear. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got money. I'm going to unlock my new stuff. Hell yeah. Weed, I... weed, weed. <laughs> I would unlock the other stuff, but it's all so fucking expensive, and I'm only at 25,000 now. <laughs> I got the salt upgrade. Hell yeah. Cool. Is that level we, level two? We, so nice. So do you guys want to do think I have some like regular yeah, ones? I made or? my flashlights level three. Oh, okay, fair. That is the first one you get. Yeah. <laughs> I have uh, headgear and candle to unlock still, and then everything else will be starting to unlock level 3 stuff. Okay. So 47 and 49. <sighs> uh, do you guys oh. want to do a couple regular ones, or...? Yeah, uh, unless you guys are feeling tired, I think I just heard a yawn. I have my tea, so... My yawning will stop I soon. This... <laughs> I know we're playing something tomorrow as well, but... What was that, sir? Uh, I'm trying <laughs> to think of what I have going on tomorrow. Well, let's just end on something fun, like Point Hope, and then... Okay. Yeah, I there, definitely then... do one or two more. Yeah. Okay. Fuck, I didn't upgrade the fucking shit. I didn't put it in my loadout. Alright, this one can't be our last one. Why not? Because I forgot to, uh, to set it to the uh, level 3 uh, headgear. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So we still got uh level level two. So like it's a flashlight at least. Yep. Yeah. 
I like how we just spent all this time with the parabolics and we were both like, thermometer! <laughs> well, yeah, because the thermometer lets us actually see where the ghost is. Yeah, I don't know why I grabbed it, though, because it doesn't work for me on this map. Oh, right! Oh, I also forgot to check where the power box is uh, right now. Yeah, I'm going back to get something else that's broken for me still. So. Oh, that's weird. Alright, sounds good. And you're the, uh, the Gorb King again. <laughs> the Gorb <Lord>. Yeah. <laughs> I not miss mirror. seeing Gorbs right away. <laughs> right? Is it Luigi board? It's not Luigi board. I think I remember where all the cursed settings are on this map. Is it... Well, that's a good talent, because I sure don't. It's not summoning circle, okay. Power's on now. It's not music box. It's either Voodoo Doll or Monkey Paw. It's gonna be Monkey Paw. Yeah, it's Monkey Paw. I think it's in here. Yeah, I can see my breath. It's upstairs on the, uh... Just go up till you see the lights that are on. Oh, no! There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you like that placement? I do like that placement. That's very yeah. good. That's very good placement. <laughs> I kind of want one next to it, kind of desync, so that way it always covers the whole place. But yeah, no, it's... I've always, ever since I found it, you can put them on the ceiling. I've loved ceiling plays. Oh, oh shit, we got dots. dots right away. Oh, you're here. Hi. Damn. Hi. Can you not walk in me, you fucking dot? Wait, was this the? Oh, I was really hoping you would. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it didn't like that. No, it didn't like that. We should do it more. That was the DMF3. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I saw the fucking shark toy and I was like, oh, I remember this. Ah. I was too busy talking and not counting my steps. Which I usually try to do while I'm walking. Ghost Rider. Nice. It's so nice to actually be able to turn on the power. Uh, what do we not have up there? UV. Oh wow, okay. So it's just a Diogen then. Awesome. I don't know how much I wanted to Watch out for the degenerate. <laughs> I don't know how much I want to do the, the side objectives because one of them is capture a photo of the ghost. It's like it's not bad really with Dio, but it. Alright, in that case, come back to the truck and we can, we can fuck off. And we then use good headgear. We don't need anything else. Sorry, what was that? We mastered Sunny Meadows, we don't need anything else. <laughs> True. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> I saw you walking up like, what the fuck is that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you are still fucking around with the shark. <laughs> you brought the fucking shark out, yeah. <laughs> I could just hear giggling from the other room. 
remember that I was going to say bad about the shark, but I didn't realize he was behind her in front of me. Guys, natural sanity depletion. It sucks. Ew, that was so fast. Right? Do you guys both have a Diogen circled? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, you can't use it while the door's closing! But I'm sorry. And I hear it. Oh, weird. I didn't hear it at all while, while uh, after confused. I closed the door. Yeah, the shark was still going for me. Oh, weird, yeah, not for me. I can still hear it too. Oh, weird. Okay, let's go to my loadout. And but change just... it to headgear three. What? And you lose audio at the game end, and I don't have audio before the game start. That's yeah, that's really weird. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> headgear level three. Okay. Magic. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm good. Man, ending it off with Willow. Magic door. I love magic door. <laughs> Hey, you know, with that Blood Moon event coming up pretty soon, that means we're probably gonna get the boys back in the uh, in the center here. The yeah, boys. <laughs> I love the boys. I love the boys. They're so spooky. Yeah, they are. <laughs> right, let's test out this new fucking headgear. Hell yeah, I'm so excited. This was the main thing I was excited for. This and I guess the incense too, but especially this. Whoops. Hell yeah, we got the good headgear. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh it's so bright. Camera. Oh. Careful, we are inside, so. That means we don't need a flashlight anymore. No, we do not. I don't think we can use these to uh, to find gorbs, though. But, yeah. We'll still need the regular camera for that. Oh, right, great, I can grab a third item, of course. Um, the other dots. We got a summoning cycle. Yeah, we do. Also, powers on so we can turn on lights. Perfect. Why would we do that, though? Right. Yeah, it doesn't look like the ghost is in the basement. Also power on so that we can uh we can check temperature accurately. Fair enough. Temperature looks like it's going down in here. Yeah, I was in the bathroom, ghost like I was banking. Oh wait, temperature went started going up as soon as you came in here, Ox. Of course, I'm hot. <laughs> So it's not in here then, I guess. Is it with you, Matt? No. No? Okay. Oh! No, not a kitchen ghost. Is it a garage ghost? I, I think it's a garage ghost. Yep. I think it's a garage ghost. Yeah, I see my breath. Yeah, I see my breath in garage. This, grab EMF. We have UV in there already. Okay, not the best place for Gorbs, but okay. Alright, I wanna put the other dots too. I 
I put down my thermometer and uh, and my cruise face completely forgetting that I had the second dots on me. I got five. E EMF five. Nice. Oh, and ghost writing. Nice. Ghost writing, EMF five. And spirit box doesn't work, I don't think, unless I'm alone. Yeah, temperature's not quite freezing yet, so alright. How old are you? Are you a boy? Are you a girl? Got a gorst event. That was thoughts. We had a fake hunt and I have no spirit box. Oh. Never mind. No spirit box, you said? Did I just see dots on that computer screen behind you? That's not what I wanted it. I wanted it right here. There we go. I'm not seeing dots or gorbs. No, I want you to go up there. There we go. How's the temp looking? Fuck. That's fine. Got two fives, wow, okay. I should just run back here and hid. That would have been a good idea. That's a fake hunt, yeah, it's a fake hunt. No, you can't go out there, bitch. <laughs> idiot. You can't do that, idiot. Oh, the cruiser was burnt a little bit, huh? Didn't even notice. I don't know what my sanity was at. Oh, we forgot to put fucking salt down. Shit. I don't think it's Gorio. I don't think it's twins. I don't. Like, it could be a wraith. Grab a cup, try and get them to grab the salt or something. We've gotten pretty late to reading temperatures before. It's well, not loud enough. Using temps to be a shade? Not loud enough. It's being louder like a cup. Good thing I have infinite sprint. That's loud. Yes, the ghost isn't supposed to hunt if there are people nearby. For which one? Shade? Yeah. What's up, Matt? 
Matt, I see your plate. Are you telling me he's... you would like a palty pile? No, I'm not telling you on a palty. No, I think he's saying use salt. Is the salt? My thing to was find funnier. UV. Battery's trying to stack the plate on the salt. Probably the UV option. Okay, I'm gonna take one more meds. I'm saying that Wraith is a possibility. Why is Wraith a possibility? I turned the power out. Never mind, I'm stupid. I accidentally crossed off uh, ghostwriting instead of marking it. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh sometimes my mouse likes to double click and I don't understand why. Where's my UV stick? Stern, I wouldn't do that if I oh You're at like twenty percent sanity. You're gonna get hunted. And deaded. Oh, thank you. Got it. I threw it on the table, and I don't see it anymore. Oh, I see footprints. Oh, we footprints. got UV. That's footprints. That's UV. Okay. Good job. It's the mining. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. Yeah. So mining. <laughs> I didn't even think about the UV. It's nice to actually take advantage of the tools we have. We're used to having nothing now. <laughs> oh, did you? Matt, my smiling. Leg. Hopefully you got I can't drop it. <laughs> you didn't even get... <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, I was being stupid. I wasn't expecting my stupidity to actually work out. I did you grab my UV stick, Matt? Is that why it wasn't there anymore, or did it someone uh, else grab? I think I might have at some point. I don't think I, I was got checking it. the doors quickly before I left. Yeah, I think I saw Stern miss me a little bit. It's all good. I was just like, "Fuck, where'd it go? It was here." Yeah, I uh, I completely forgot that the salt gives footprints. I I was just saying it because my mouse for some reason double clicked on uh, ghostwriting and crossed it off instead of marking it. So for me, it said that Wraith yeah. was still a possibility. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, what do you guys think? We'll save our ghost hunting abilities for tomorrow? Yeah, we, I mean, if we're doing this tomorrow, then yeah, we might as well. Unless you guys want to do something else and do this longer, I don't know. <sighs> I don't really care since I don't Ooh. work. Um, doesn't matter too much to me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter too much to me. I know, I know it is twelve thirty, but yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna call it a night just so that I can get some stuff done tomorrow. But fair, yeah, yeah. that's a that that yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right. Well, thanks for letting us join you, Matt. Thanks for joining. Of course, anytime. I I hope that in the future, Kill of Fire Two works. See ya. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but at least more Charizard was fun to build. Fires. Yeah. It was cool. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I will. But yeah, uh, I'm out of here. So ciao. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. And bye. Bye. Leave that, and then leave the call. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. And then, yeah, there we go. That was uh, Kill It With Fire 2, which was Sloppy, and Charizard, and, uh, and Phasmo. <laughs> uh, Phasmo and Charizard were less sloppy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, thank you, Rox, for the links, and thank you, everyone, for watching. And I sincerely hope you all enjoyed, and if you did and aren't already following, be sure to do so. 
So that way you're notified next time I go live, which will be tomorrow, playing something. Phasmo or Ground or Lethal or something. We'll figure it out. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, Rocks, thanks for the link. So be sure to check out the Discord where you can hang out with myself as well as the rest of the chat. And be sure to check out the YouTube where I'm uploading all my latest VODs, including today's will be on there. I'll have to, like, stitch the two VODs together so they work properly because... Th because, yeah, I had the whole PC crash. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, uh, let's see who might be live. Uh, opera, that's what I want. Oh, opera. There's probably somebody live. Yeah. <sighs> ah, my chest is a little bit tight in my chest. Um, yeah, okay. We're gonna go raid our good friend, Wei. He's always fun to hang out with, and he's playing some Resident Evil 4. So yeah, uh, Rox put the, uh, the raid message. Thank you for that. You can go ahead and copy if you'd like. I will be doing so. Uh, if, if I need to turn off caps lock. I don't know if it's super important, but yeah. So yeah, uh, as always, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day or your night, and I will see you all later. Ow! Peace out, everyone.